Hello, hello, and welcome in to our very first playthrough of Divinity Original Sin 2. I am so keen and so excited. Let's jump into it because I am very certain we will be spending quite a bit of time in character creation and I have to um, adjust all the settings and everything to make sure that it's all okay. So a, a, a little disclaimer here, please pardon if there are any technical difficulties as I navigate through that but for now let's uh let's just let's just take things step by step okay we have to create a profile so uh, let's do that accept here and here we go okay um I always try to check the options first and make sure that we are good on that I think Oh, okay, we don't have that little grey icon thing that we usually do for Gamma. Okay, we're gonna try to get maybe a little bit lighter than the default. Um, we have the Ultra here, that's fine. Anti-aliasing, I think I will... Oh, these are the only options I have. That's okay, we'll keep it as is. I think it shouldn't be an issue. Oh, I didn't... I, discard changes, no accept my changes oh no okay never mind uh sorry it's it's going to be a fun time this i can tell already uh mute sound when the game is not focused no we won't do that actually because if i do need to alt tab out i don't want the game to suddenly mute um okay so this is this is the default audio which i think i'm actually okay with maybe the cinematics i wanted a bit higher like that um but we want the voice mask voice master there we go voice master should be at 100 i was gonna say that i always have an issue that the voices can't be heard um when we play games like this especially where there's a lot a lot of um narration again i forgot to apply this don't accept yet because that will exit uh gameplay uh, offline, no, we're fine. Auto saves, okay, we want max auto and quick saves. Show subtitles, yes. Show tutorial boxes. Uh, reset tutorials on the new game. Always show stack splitter in trade. Ooh, I don't remember what I had um, as a default, but I think we will figure that out as we play, whether we want to turn that on or off. Um, lock the mouse cursor, no. What is close-up dialogue? When enable, the camera moves closer to the characters when in dialogue. Oh, do I want that? Do I not want that? It's checked off by default, so I'm not sure. Um, we'll leave that. We will leave... Oh, okay, this one. Remove unmemorized skills. When enabled, the hotbar will automatically remove skills you unmemorized in the skill window. Um, no, I think we'll be fine having do we want that okay we'll leave that one in um oh god i keep forgetting this sorry um okay controls okay everything looks largely familiar and similar so far uh for context this is i believe uh my second ever crpg if i'm getting that right <laughs> <laughs> but just Baldur's Gate was the first game of its kind that I've played um, so and the first game from Larian that I've played so this is literally the second one so my experience is still quite limited but this looks uh, this certainly looks familiar from Baldur's Gate 3 I, I'm gonna try not to compare to BG3 too much but I'm not going to make any promises it probably can't be helped because that's the only point of reference I have. Um, and I know they're not the same game, and I know they're their own thing. So I will try not to compare them too much. Um, but again, no promises. I'll do my best though. Okay, let's see. Okay, camera center, I always change that to space. We'll accept. Uh, toggle game master pause. No, I don't need to worry about that. Take all. I need to change that. End turn. Ooh. Mm, yeah, you know what, we'll remove... Do you want to remove the bindings? Yes, we'll, remove, we'll figure that out as we go. Camera rotate, I always change it to the right mouse click. 
Uh, cancel action and context menu. Okay, cancel action, context menu. We'll add this as a secondary here. And a context menu. We'll, we won't remove that. We can share both of those. And then... Let's see here. Highlights, characters, that's fine. I need the highlight objects, like highlight labels on the ground. It's usually alt. Show world tool tips. No. Oh, is it that? Is it this? Uh, hang on. Let me see if there's anything with the left alt. I change it to control. It might be that. Okay, we will change that then. Um, show world tool tips. We want that to be this. Except toggle info and destruction toggle oh yes destruction toggle i will change that to my mouse and let's see here uh toggle info not sure what that means but we'll put left alt as the new toggle info and i think that should be it for now i'm seeing a couple of things like hotbar next and previous and UI refresh page. So those things are a little bit different. So I think maybe this is all I need to navigate comfortably, at least to my, what I'm used to. So I think we'll, do, we'll, we'll be fine with that for now. We have a gift bag. I have no idea what that gift bag does, but maybe it's something that came with the definitive edition. Um, I've had this game in my library for a long time, so okay, let me not ramble on any further because we will spend a lot of time in character creation, I'm sure. So let's start with... What is Game Master? Prepare campaign. Okay, this might be like custom mode, perhaps. There's Arena as well, um, which is interesting. I think that's like online, um, but we're not focused on any of that right now. Let's do the story. Oh, look at this! Okay, single player definitely. Um, this is the this is the difficulty screen. That is cool. Okay, hang on. We've got the explorer mode. Okay, we've got classic. We've got tactician, and we've got story. Okay, that's interesting because it's it's slightly different. So I don't know if there's an honor mode for this. Um. Unless tactician is the honor and story is the ex like you get what I mean like it's shifted, um, which does it mean I need to play classic? Because so in Baldur's Gate three, I actually did my first playthrough on tactician, and I found that to be all right. Like it's it's still quite comfortable because it's not as punishing as honor mode. You could still reload and things like that if we needed to. So maybe... Okay, so here it is. We have regular and honor tactician. Okay, so... And that changes as well. Okay, hang on. Let me see. I want to see if this changes if we select it. It does. Okay, that's really cool. And this does as well, I assume. Oh, wow. That is really neat. That is very, very cool. Okay, so let's go with tactician. We'll go with regular, which I am... Going to guess it's regular tactician mode. Um, and I don't know if this is going to be something that we can change um, in game later on. In Ball's Gate 3, you can. So maybe if it gets too difficult, we might change it. So we'll go with that. Uh, okay, tactician, bring it on. Combat is demanding. And your foes are devious and observant. For every surprise you spring, they will respond with two of their own. Oh, not for the faint of heart. For every surprise you spring, they will respond with two of their own. L literally, though? <laughs> like, <laughs> do they get double attacks instantly or something? I'm not sure, but maybe we'll find out. Um, tactician mode. Okay, are you sure you want to start a game in tactician mode? Fights in this mode will be especially challenging. You cannot change the setting once the game starts. Okay, well, there's my question answered. Um, so this is like a commit we're committing. I think we should be fine. We might struggle a bit. I might struggle. I'll definitely struggle a bit. Uh, but I think we'll be okay. I, I like the challenge. So let's... We will accept tactician mode. Let's go. Oh, again. Okay, final warning. 
There will be no changing your game's difficulty after this. Are you sure you want to continue in tactician mode? That's concerning that they have two pop-up windows. Um, I Yes, I accept. We'll take on the challenge. It will be okay. Um, okay, let's see if we get a um, cinematic or something before before we get into the nitty gritty. Was there a cinematic before? Yeah, there was. There was a cinematic before. Um, okay, there's no cinematic here. I've I've not seen any um, cinematics or things from this game, and I know nothing about the universe or the world. So. Um, I would appreciate it if um, there weren't any spoilers in the comments because I would love to experience the game um, on my own accord and I imagine when it comes to the mechanics, as I, as I understand this is not uh, D&D based like Baldur's Gate 3 is, so it's probably going to be different and there are probably things that I have to learn and get used to and there, are, there will most likely be things that I will mess up or do wrong but I think that's that's the beauty about these games is that you get to play them how you want so hopefully I don't piss too many people off but at the same time this is just me living my best life so <laughs> let's just have some fun and speedless adventures together also all the reading I'm, I'm looking forward to that uh right let's not delay any further because i will spend some time i think creating a character so character creation welcome to the character creation screen here you can select an origin character or create a custom hero uh okay only show tutorials about new features no nope. uh, okay well understood um Okay, so this is, I think for our first playthrough, we will um, not play an origin character. We'll do a custom character and we'll... But I would like to listen to the origin stories. I can see that here. So, and then we can at least... At least I'll get to know the characters a little more, you know? I assume if it's, this, if it's a similar format that we will pick them up along the way. Um, so we'll see. So we have the Red Prince. Uh, Sabeel. Okay, origin characters have a rich personal background, custom stories, and oh my god, I didn't read that in time. <laughs> oh no. My bad. Oh, my days. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. That's a toggle um, clothing thing. Uh, do we have nudity in this game? Do I need to turn that off? Um, I guess I'll find out later. Um, okay, then we have Ifan. So that was Sabeel, the Red Prince. Uh, Ifan beast okay uh loza and fane fane didn't we pick up a portrait of him in baldur's gate 3 is that like an easter egg thing because he has a painting of him doesn't he in um um in the uh, tomb where we find withers oh don't we have the other uh, other paintings as well. This as well. Isn't the Red Prince? Uh, oh crap, I can't remember where all my items are. Um, there are a couple paintings in, in BG3 that we pick up. And I think these are the characters, if I'm not mistaken. You can confirm that in the comments if you want. But um, I'll, I'll, I'll have a peek myself as well if I have the time. But yeah, okay, that's cool. Um, right, let's see who else we have. Fane, okay. Dwarf. Okay, no, that is custom. Okay, we're good. And I think this is all... Okay, this is all custom from here on. So we have... Let's see what races we are working with. Or backgrounds, I suppose. Dwarf. Elf. Human. Lizard. Okay. Undead dwarf. Oh, okay. Undead elf. Okay, so we have undead versions of those things. Are the undead, like... I was gonna... Okay, never mind. I just read this. The undead are considered abominations in Rivalon, an affront to the natural order whose mere presence invites violence. Those who walk amongst the living must do so masked. Okay. I was going to say, like, <laughs> won't uh, people, like, all, like, are the undead accepted in this universe? It seems not. So, um... We have undead human, undead lizard, and then, okay, we're back to the Red Prince. Okay, um, let us see what the origin characters are about, because I'd like to know a bit more about them. As much as I know we can get to know them in... Or should we not? Should we not listen to their origin stories? Now I'm wondering, because... 
we I don't know how much of you know how I'm sure there will be loads that they'll cover in the game and I don't know how much I want to know before getting to know them like do I want formed opinions or not you know what I mean um, let's read first you are an infamous you are infamous, sorry. You are infamous. A brilliant warrior general exiled from his empire for cavorting with demons. Ooh, like a warlock. Fall of embrace. You refuse to give up. The throne will be yours again. Okay, so trying to get back to his empire, whatnot. Okay, understood. And he has dragon's blade. Okay. 4 to 5 fire damage in a cone, right? And Demonic Stare, drain 9 to 10 magic armor from target character and gain that armor for yourself. Oh, okay, that's a really handy spell. And they have talents, sophisticated. Look at the... <laughs> Look at the icon for the sophisticated talent. Is it just for him? Does everyone have a different icon? Okay, hang on. Sophisticated gives you a plus 10% fire resistance and a plus 10% poison resistance. That sounds pretty handy. Okay, being sophisticated gives you a little bit of resistance. And we have the um, spell song talents. You get a plus one in persuasion from spell song. Okay, so it's a persuasion skill, I think. Um, and let me do that again. Okay, it seems that they... Um, if I'm understanding this correctly, anyway, um, it seems like you can play an origin and play a different... Yeah, it seems like you can play a different class or build, despite them being... So they're not tied to classes and builds, the origins, which is which is cool. Um, that's pretty neat. Okay, so we have to go through all the uh, classes and builds because I know nothing about them. We have Sibyl. A slave no longer, you still bear the living scar your master used to dominate you. Ooh, he turned you into an assassin, made you hunt your own kin, now you hunt him. Oh, very familiar plot there. Um, let's see here, flesh sacrifice. Gain one action point immediately and a 10% damage boost for two turns at the cost of negative one constitution. Any action points over your maximum are lost. Okay for two turns uh, break the shackles remove the following negative statuses from yourself silence slowed crippled chilled shocked plagued suffocating atrophy that's a lot that's a lot of debuffs um, disease infectious disease and shackles of pain okay so this is like a um, cleanse like a remove all the debuff thing and she I think it's a she um has Corpse Eater. Corpse Eater lets you eat body parts to access the memories of the dead. That is very grim and very cool at the same time. <laughs> is it like speak to dead but a little bit more visceral I think? Uh, an ancestral knowledge. Ancestral knowledge gives you plus one lore master. Oh. Oh my days, there's so much, there's so much to take in. Um, but it's okay, we'll take it step by step because Lawmaster is a skill or something as well. That's that's interesting. Then we have Ifan. I kind of like his look already. Um, Ifan is a crusader in Lucian's army. You lost your faith as war claimed countless innocents. Now you're a lone wolf mercenary. Your mission, kill Lucian's son. Oh my days, okay. Why though? Something Lucian did, I guess. Um, he has encourage, encourage allies around you, increasing their primary attributes, okay. And summon Ifan's soul wolf. Soul wolf, sorry. Summons your trusty soul wolf, which can howl and bite enemies. Okay. That's like a um, ranger type deal. Sorry, excuse me. Um, okay, that's, that's fair. Ingenious. Ingenious gives you a 5% bonus critical chance and a 10% extra critical multiplier. Okay, that's cool. And Thrifty. Thrifty gives you a plus one to bartering. Very handy, I'm sure. Uh, I did this ranger thing is not intentional. Um, okay, then we have Beast. Okay, your f their name is just Beast. That's kind of cool. 
Um, your failed rebellion against the queen nearly destroyed you, so you began a new life on the high seas. Now your old enemy is back. If you don't stop her, no one will. Ooh. Uh, your old enemy. Is that the queen? Who knows? Not sure. His beard is amazing. Um, he's got petrifying touch. T uh, turn a nearby target to stone, incapacitating it, dealing 6 to 7 earth damage. Okay, removes bleeding, burning, poisoned, and crippled, and then there's a blinding squall. A storm approaches and strong winds rise. They blind and deal 7 to 8 air damage to enemies in the target area. We've got some, some elemental type damage happening here. There is sturdy. Sturdy gives you a plus 10% maximum vitality and 5% dodging. And there's Dwarven Guile. Dwarven Guile gives you a plus one in sneaking. Okay, pretty cool. Then we have Loza. Uh, you're a musician, performer, star, and host to all manner of disembodied visitors. Okay, now one dark voice has silenced them all and aims to claim your body for itself. Ooh, okay. So she's like possessed or something. Um, she is encouraged, the same as Ifan, I think. And Maddening Song. Sing, causing enemies in the target area to become mad. Maddened characters will attack those nearest them, regardless of alignment. Okay, so it doesn't matter if they're friend or foe, I'm guessing. And they have the ingenious um, talent as well, and the thrifty. Um, is it because they're both the same background, like humans? Hang on. Ifan had ingenio ingenious and thrifty. I mean, they look human anyway. Inge okay, maybe maybe that's what it is. Um, okay, we have Fane. You woke up and your world was gone. The last of your kind, you hide behind a charmed mask, searching for the truth about a history that no one knew existed. Okay. Um, and he has played dead, full enemies into thinking you're dead. Cooldown of skills will be paused. Any action you take will cancel the status. Okay. And then we have Time Warp. Target a character, and whenever this character ends a turn in combat, they immediately get a free turn. Oh, that's very handy. Wait, isn't that going to be like so broken? Oh, I suppose um, there's a cooldown, right? Or like, um, how do you say that? I suppose you can't use it all the time. Maybe you need to rest before the next use or something. Okay, talents, undead. Undead lets you heal from poison. But regular healing will damage you instead. Oh, okay. You will receive poison st uh, status even if you have magic armor. But that means you'll heal, right? If you are poison? Oh no. Um, ingenious, that's the same one. And who's next? Custom. Okay, so we've done the um, we've done the um, origins. You know what? I am curious about them. So before we get into the custom, um, okay, before we get into the custom characters, um, let's listen to all their origin stories because I, I am curious. So we have the Red Prince. Let's listen to his story. Famed, of course, for my unique red skin and unparalleled skills as a general of the House of War, I, the Red Prince, was raised within the vast palaces of the fabled Forbidden City. I was destined to become the next Emperor. But my ambitions suffered a bit of a setback when I fell from grace for cavorting with demons. Now, I'm exiled and hunted by assassins. But I assure you, I remain undaunted and as determined as ever to claim my rightful throne. Okay, so... Again, not trying to compare too much to Baldur's Gate 3, but I wonder if them will they have split quest lines as well that's a that's something that we'll find out as we play i suppose so let's uh that was really cool so i think i will listen to the rest of the um the origin character stories let's uh listen into sabil now i 
I used to be a slave. Kept under the thumb of the master. The bastard that made me hunt down my own kin. How did he do that, you ask? With the living scar you see on my cheek, this horror that takes no more than a song sung by Master Dearest to control my very thoughts. But now the tables have turned. I broke my shackles. And when I finally find him, I will make the Master sing a very different kind of song. Okay, I didn't know the scar was a living scar and I, know, I don't know what that means. It doesn't mean that it never heals or what does that mean? But we'll find out, I'm sure. Um, okay, then we have Ifan. Once I was a crusader for the Divine Order. I pledged my life to Lucian the Divine. The war changed everything. He sent me to save the elves I grew up amongst. I arrived too late. Lucian ordered the use of Death Fog against the Black Ring, annihilating everyone I once knew in the process. Now I'm a mercenary killer, one of the infamous Lone Wolves. And my next target? is none other than Lucian's own son. Okay, that's uh, cool. So that's a death fog thing, which maybe he doesn't agree with. Then we have a beast. Okay, I'm curious about this beast character. He looks very, very interesting. Oh, I recognize that hat. Oh. I was just thinking about someone I used to know. My cousin, the Queen, in fact. A tyrant. I tried to stop her, but things don't always go according to plan. She cast me out to a forgotten island and made short work of my allies, too. Lucky for me, I was able to commandeer a ship and began a new life for myself out on the high seas. Aye, but I hear that the Queen is at it again. And there's something darker behind our madcap schemes this time. If I don't stop her, I don't know who will. His song is the song that we get to play as a bard in uh, in BG3. Um, the Queen's High Seas or something. That's his theme song, isn't it? Am I crazy? I might be crazy. Um, okay, let's listen to... Uh, so his, the queen is his cousin, and he's like this um, piratey character that's cool. Oh my days, I just noticed his boot. Is it because he's a ranger? Oh no, his boots don't, that hit. look at his boots. How cool are those? Don't want to get kicked in the shins with that. Um, okay, then we have Loza. Um, let's listen to her story. My life I've been a performer, a musician, beloved and celebrated by all. But I have a secret. I'm also a playground for sprites and spirits and worse. The voice that rings inside me now is darker than any that came before. <laughs> Almost caused a bunch of my fans to rip each other to pieces. <laughs> but you can trust me. I've got this under control. Step one, find out who or what is trying to take control of my mind. Step two, make it sorry it ever tried. Okay, that is uh, that's an interesting one. Kind of uh, a bit dark and twisty. We love to see it. And now we have, oh, we have Fane. Okay, hello, Fane. Let's listen to your story then. Oh, don't stare. 
How would you look after eons in some ghastly crypt? Your people are rather prone to death. Mine are not. Yet when I emerged from my completely unjustified imprisonment, I found them gone. Our culture forgotten. Any trace of the world I knew all but obliterated. I must even hide my true face beneath an ever-shifting mask for fear you savages will attack me. That is how I wander this strange world. Trying to uncover the truth about a history you primitive people never even knew existed. Mm. Okay, interesting. That ending was a bit, felt a bit abrupt-ish. And there was something happening with Kate. Um, okay, that's an interesting character as well. Um, all the voices are amazing, unsurprisingly. Um, okay, and then that's the that's those are the origin characters, right? Now comes the decision of what what we will play. Um, okay, so we have dwarves between haves and have-nots alike. Dwarves are fiercely nationalistic. Even the poorest dwarf would die for their dwindling kingdom, but not all would die for the queen. Oh, okay, so that could tie in nicely with beast, I think. Um, and then we get talents as a dwarf, so we have sturdy and the dwarven guile, which I believe is the same uh, as beast. Yes. Okay. So then we have the elf. Okay. The annals of elvendom are written in flesh. Elves eat of the dead. Okay. So we have the. Okay. It's, an, it's a. It's a background thing. Eat of the dead and absorb their memories. Now the elves are in peril. An unforgettable hero must rise. Ooh. This could be interesting. Uh, hang on, let's read this. Okay, it's the same one as Loza. And this one's different. Dome of Protection. Create a magical field that restores magic and physical armor and increases elemental resistances on allies in an area. Seems pretty good. Let's see what the dwarf one. Okay, we all have this and then Petrifying Touch. Is that the case? Yeah, okay, that is the case for the um, different backgrounds. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I feel like this might be cool to play just because if I'm understanding this correctly does that mean we can just like munch on the things that we kill and then we can find and we have lore master so I feel like for our first playthrough this could be interesting just because um, won't I get to have a lot of lore bits then Oh, we'll put a pin in it. Let me read the rest of the options here. So we have human, uh, adventurous, confident, flexible, at times even clever. So sometimes not, maybe. <laughs> Humans are dominant in Rivalon. Uh, they always play the hero in their own endless wars, even when they are the villains. Ooh, okay. I like that ending part there. Um, and we have ingenious and thrifty. Um, which which could be which could be really really good uh, because of the bartering so that could be that could be an option and we have lizard okay to most lizards are as exotic and mysterious as the ancient empire itself the outside world knows them as warriors philosophers and slavers to be respected and feared oh okay that sounds kind of cool it sounds really op um and we get the <laughs> okay, so that maybe that's why the icon looks like that. It's I suppose it's tied to the lizard background. Um, <laughs> I love it though. I love that icon. Um, these are also really really good. And okay, so now we're going into the undeads. We have play dead. Okay, so the undead background will have the same um, the same. How do you say talents and skills? So maybe not. I think I will play a non-undead. Also seems like it might be weird to navigate around as an undead. Um because it seems let me read that again. Um there. Um an affront to the natural order whose mere presence invites violence. Not sure if I want that. So let me see. I think I might go. It's to me, it's between the elf and the lizard. Because the lizards 
but they're slavers. I don't know if I want to be that. Um, <laughs> maybe, and I don't want to be feared either. Or do we? I don't know. But I kind of like the elf thing. The elf... I want to play a dwarf as well. Because I do enjoy playing a good dwarf character. But I think I think for the sake of like law and things, I might play the... Um, I, I think we might go with the elf here. Let's see what the female model looks like. Oh my days, that is so long and lanky. Um, I think I'll go with the male avatar. Um, if you've watched my Baldur's Gate uh, 3 playthrough, you'll um, perhaps know that I played as a female avatar, a female character, but in actuality, I normally play uh, male avatars in video games because to me it's like, why not be something I can't be in real life? <laughs> so um, so I, I tend to play male avatars, so I think we will go with that. And we will... Um, let's look at... Now we have a lot of builds to look at. So we have the rogue. Do we have a description? Um, is there like a... Okay, there we go. We have... With a lot of skill and a little luck, this rogue sees the world as an open coffer. Okay. So, typical rogue thing. Then we have Shadow Blade. What's the difference there? A powerful assassin whose arsenal of both daggers and magic would terrify any enemy if they ever saw it coming. Ooh, okay. Let's read the skills as well. So the rogue gets adrenaline, gain two action points immediately, but lose two action points next turn. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Any action points over your maximum are lost. I'm assuming action points are things that we use in combat. And then we have backlash, jump over the enemy landing behind their back and backstabbing them for 23 to 25 physical damage. That sounds like a lot of damage. And then we have throwing knife, throw a knife at your opponent dealing 23 to 25 physical damage and can backstab. Oh, okay. So this sounds very interesting and very spicy actually. Um, oh, look at the helmet. That's really cool. Hang on, let me see if... Okay, so the helmet is also based on your background, I think. Um, okay, okay. I see it, I see it. Oh, not that. Oh, the dwarf! The female dwarf is really cute, though. Oh, look at that. Okay, hang on. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Let me see the male. Okay, is it based on class or no? Oh, it is based on the clock. Okay. But it's also flavored for the race. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Hang on. Sorry, I'm getting so distracted. But that's really cool. This looks so bad. I mean, come on. Look at that. That's so cool. Okay, wait. Let's read the Shadow Blade skills. Uh, jump over an enemy, landing behind your back and backstabbing them for 14 to 16 physical damage. Then we have the Chameleon Cloak, grants you the power to blend in with any environment as if invisible. And we have the Chicken Claw, turn the target character into a chicken, squawk. <laughs> oh, okay, so we can turn people into chickens as a shadow blade. Wayfarer, elemental arrowheads, targetless, uh, hang on, what's the Wayfarer do? A survivalist and a practitioner of magic. The Wayfarer is hard to hit and even harder to evade. That's cool, that's cool. See the helmet. Okay, okay, okay. Um, elemental arrowheads target a surface in a melee radius. Elemental damage matching that surface is added to your ranged weapon attacks and ranged weapon based skills. Okay, pin down. Do 37 to 40 physical damage and cripple target character. Ooh, okay. And then we have Fossil Strike, a giant rock filled with sticky oil that deals 6 to 7 earth damage, creates an oil surface where it lands. Okay, okay, okay. We have the witch. Ooh, look at that. Um, an intimidating presence whose bone-chilling powers terrify friend and foe alike. Okay, okay. We have chloroform destroys six to seven magic armor and then tries to set sleeping. Ooh, okay. We have raised bloated corpse. Target a corpse to raise a bloated cadaver that fights for you. It can explode, dealing physical damage. Ooh, does that tie in well, I wonder, to the whole corpse eater thing? Like, 
I'll find out how this works when we start, I'm sure, but will we eat the whole corpse? Body parts, it says. So will we have a corpse to raise if we have this? I'm not sure. Um, mosquito Swarm. Unleash, unleash a swarm of giant mosquitoes to suck the blood from your enemies, dealing 6 to 7 physical damage and healing yourself. Okay. Oh, I just noticed that the bottom of this... Um, I can't... Can I pin this? Um, I can't pin it. But the bottom of that this screen has Necromancer um, listed. And then there's a Scoundrel listed. Okay, so we have different like categories of um, spells and things, which is cool. Okay, we have the Wizard. A scholar of magic specialized in starting and ending battles with a flick of the wrist, accepting swift victory from a safe distance. Okay. Uh, okay, same hat here. And we have Ignition, sets enemy characters around you on fire, deals 4 to 5 da uh, fire damage to each, ignites all susceptible surfaces. We have Searing Daggers, shoot 3 flaming daggers at targets of your choice, each creating a fire surface and dealing 3 to 4 fire damage. Okay, and we have Fossil Strike. Okay, this is the same one as this, I think. Yes, it is. Okay. Now we have the uh, Battle Mage. Amplifies brute strength with powerful magic. We have Battering Rem. Rush forward in a straight line to a designated point, hitting all enemies in your path with 16 to 19 physical damage and setting Knockdown. Okay. And then Blinding Radiance. Enemies around you receive 6 to 7 air damage. You receive a status that turns enemies in 5 meter radius blind. Okay. Then we have Shocking Touch. Sets the shock status on a target within arm's length and deals 8 to 9 air damage. Okay. We have a Cleric. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, And this. Okay, okay, okay. Um, a Cleric. Restoration. Restore vitality of a target character. Restoration also cures... Poisoned and bleeding. Okay, we have Blood Sucker. Ooh, target character consumes blood surfaces around them, restoring vitality. The more blood, the more they will be healed. That's really cool. Because I know we've always, we, we like, at least in Baldur's Gate 3, you get loads of like blood patches on the ground. So this actually makes use of it. That's cool. Um, decaying Touch. Deal 67 physical damage to target character. Sets decay. So the character target uh, will take physical damage from the heal from healing spells and potions. Oh. Okay. That's a really cool one. And then we have the conjurer. Conjures a trusty personal demon and elemental totems to aid in battle. Kind of like a shaman. What did the cleric say? Heals allies. Or smashes skulls, depending on the direction of the winds. Okay, we've read the battle mage already. So the Conjure, Conjure Incarnate. Conjure a personal elemental that matches the ground surface it's summoned onto. Your Incarnate can be buffed with infusions. Once you hit summoning ability level of 10, a Colossal Incarnate Champion will answer your summons. That's cool. Dimensional Bolt. Shoot a volatile bolt that deals 6 to 7 of a random type, then creates a corresponding surface. Okay. Elemental Totem. Target a ground surface and conjure a totem of the corresponding element. Each turn, this totem will fire a projectile at enemies in sight. That's really cool. Okay. There's also this clock thing on the bottom. And I have no idea what that means, but I think we'll find out. Okay, we have Enchanter. Rain, create a spreading water surface which douses fires. Set wet status on characters in the area. This is prefers to turn the tide of battle from afar, manipulating foes with powerful magic. Okay, this is like very AoE mage wizard type thing. Uh, hail strike, icicles fall from the sky, chilling characters and dealing 4 to 5 water damage. They create ice surfaces where they hit the ground. Okay. Electric Discharge, an electrical jolt deals 7 to 8 air damage to target character. Set status shot. Okay. I can't... Um, okay, that's not the same um, button. I want to freeze it and see if I can highlight over the words, but I don't think I can. Then we have the Fighter, Brutal Warrior, an expert in close combat. Okay. We have the Battle Stomp, smash your weapon into the ground, knocking down non-allied characters in front of you and hitting them for 13 to 14 physical damage. Also clears non-cursed surfaces and clouds. Okay, cool. Um, 
We have the Bouncing Shield. Throw your shield at an enemy, dealing 6 to 7 physical damage. Shield can bounce to another enemy in a 5 meter range. And we have Fortified. Provides 8 physical armor. While Fortified, the target cannot be teleported and removes poison, bleeding, burning, acid, and decaying. Okay, so you can remove things like decaying and whatnot. Um, Inquisitor. Okay. A daring mace wielder risking life and limb to decimate evil head on. Ooh, is it like a paladin or something? Um, battering Ram. We've read that already. Bloodsucker. Okay, we know what that is. Very cool. And Mosquito Swarm. Okay, we know what that is as well. Um, this this Inquisitor class seems like they're starting off with um really, really cool com combination of um, skills. The Knights. Okay, we have Battering Ram, Battle Stomp. We know what those are. And then we have Crippling Blow. Cripple the target with a sweeping blow and all characters around it. Deals 40... Holy shit, 41 to 46 physical damage. Okay, that's like a giant cleave or something. Okay, that's warfare. Are these warfare? Oh no, it's necromancer and warfare. Okay, then we have the metamorph. Adapts to dangerous situations with transformational tricks of nature. I have not been looking at the helmets. Oh my days, look at that. Look at how cool these, these helmets are really cool. Um, and it's not even... I have to check out all the rest as well, but I don't know if we have time for that. Uh, well, we are speedless and joyous after all, so there is all the time in the world, but I am also just very, very excited to actually get into the game itself. Um, okay, what we have here, bull horns. Magnificent horns sprout from your forehead, making you see red. You can rush at your enemies and gore them. Increases retribution ability by one for the duration. Incompatible with Medusa head. Ooh, did we get Medusa head? We got the chicken claw again. And we have Tentacle Lash. Lash out at your opponent, dealing 8 to 9 physical damage and setting Atrophy on them. Set Atrophy for one turn. Damage is based on your level and receives from What is Atrophy though? Um, I don't know what Atrophy is. And we have the Ranger, a marksman with a legendary knack for self-preservation. Elemental Arrowheads target a surface in... We know this one, I think. Uh, yes, and then we have Ricochet. Fire a normal arrow that deals 23 to 29 physical damage and then finds another target within 5 meters. Forks up to 2 times. Very cool. Then we have Peace of Mind. Target gains, gains Clear Minded, which increases strength, finesse, and intelligence by 1 and wits by 1. Removes Blinded, Terrified, Charm, Taunted, Sleeping, and Rage, and Mad. Okay, so and then we're back to the Rogue. Okay. Ooh, okay, we are... Uh, mm. <laughs> now, I have to decide what to play and I really don't know. Okay, a couple of classes stand out to me. Um, the Shadow Blade kind of stands out because I think it's kind of um, cool. But at the same time, if I'm going to play Shadow Blade, I feel like Rogue might be a better way to go just because of... Um, it's, it's more damage and it's very stabby-stabby, so I kind of... I don't mind that. Um, the... What was that class earlier that had the... In this one, the Inquisitor. Um, Inquisitor has such a cool starting set that I'm very much inclined um, to give this a shot. I think we can come back to this later. Um, I'm not... Cleric's another good one, I think. Um... But I think I might go and the battle... Yeah, you know, they're all cool. This is the issue. I'm not quite sure what... Yeah. Because I'm also not familiar with what these spells do yet exactly. Wizard. Okay, wizard and witch. Witch is interesting as well, I think. Witch feels like very much like the necromancer, I suppose. With the... um, With all the raising the dead stuff. Let's see. Maybe we can go based on some appearance a little. Let's see what you look like. Oh, look at that helmet. Oh, I kind of like that. I kind of dig that. Um, not that it matters. I think I think we'll end up changing gear anyway, won't we? Oh, I don't know. They're all good. Okay, you know what? Let's try. Let's try the Inquisitor. I do like this combination of warfare and necromancy spells, and we'll have these things to work with as well. So let's uh, let's. Yeah, we'll give. I think we'll give this a shot. This one intrigues me the most. Um, 
So we'll see what that's about. Oh, dust though. Okay, I think we can change this. Okay. Will be bogs and bogs. Appearance. There we go. Okay, so we have skin color. Bisque. Shell. Wheat. Sable. Earth. Nutmeg. Dune. Honey. Okay, honey's kind of nice. Walnut. Shale. Turf. Caramel. Cocoa. Ebony. Night. Fuligen. Um, alabaster. Bamboo. Bisque. Okay, we're back to bisque. Okay. Um, I think I liked honey. Let's go with that one. Yeah, it's a bit of a little honey sweet elf. Okay, then the face. Phase one, phase two, oh boy. Uh, phase three, phase four, phase five, phase six, phase seven, eight. Eight's kind of cool, I kind of like eight. Uh, nine, ooh, nine's, nine's, nine's not bad as well. Ten. Ten. <laughs> Ten is interesting. And one. Oh, one actually is really, now that I've cycled through one actually looks uh the most elf like compared to some of these other ones uh eight and nine are not bad though um maybe we can go with them oh the ears are different okay hang on because i was wondering okay the ears are different as well this is very horizontal ears these are very curly ears um, hang on, let me see what the number one ears are like. Ooh, it's so hard to decide. Do I want... I think I might. Okay, well, we'll see how it looks with the hair. Okay, so this is hairstyle one. Hairstyle two, okay. Hairstyle three, okay. Interesting. We have four. Ooh, I like four. Four looks cool. Five, six, six is kind of cool too. Is it long? No, it's not. Um, seven, okay. None could be a bald elf. Back to one, okay. Oh, it's hard. To, I like the one with the uh, side shave. Let's go with that. This one. Is it long at the back as well? Oh no, it's not. It's a. Uh, it's short at the back. That's fine. I like. I think. I think I like this one the most. Let's now try with the faces. Okay, nine's actually not bad. Face number nine. Let's try face number one again. Oh, one actually looks so elf-like. I think I might, I might, I might actually go with one. Let's go with hair color. Okay, we have elk, coyote, sparrow, fox, coxcomb, macaw, hawk, timber wolf, crow, gecko. Peacock, Ice Bear, Rabbit, Fawn, Canary, Dormouse, Eagle, Bear, Elk. Okay, we're back to Elk. Um, ooh, now I don't know about the face. <laughs> Maybe I do want number 9 or 8. Okay, hang on. 8 and 9 are very, very similar. Let's go back a little and see what happens. Not 7. Oh my days, not 6. Um, I think we will go with number... It's 8 or 9. They're very similar. I think I... Oh, I can't decide. I think I like number 8. Let's go with number 8. And then the hair colour. Something either darker or much lighter. I kind of like Hawk, actually. Don't mind that. Timberwolf is kind of cool. Crow... Ooh, the ice bear one is kind of neat. Oh, look at him. Okay, hang on. Rabbit. Let's see. What was this? This was elk. Okay. Elk's actually really good too. Oh god, it's so hard to decide. Let's see here. Hawk is pretty good as well. Timberwolf, maybe? Okay, ice bear is really, really cool. I kind of dig it. Okay, so that's what a portrait will look like as well. Oh, I didn't look at a portrait. Oh my days. Okay, they look quite different than I thought. Let me let me cycle through. 
You know what? Eight's fine. We're gonna go with eight and we're looking at this as well. Elk. Macaw. Hawk. I think we'll, we might actually go with Ice Bear. I kind of dig it. I dig this very light color. The brows change color, so I kind of like that. Facial features, none. Okay, we can't pick any. Okay, voices, we have Scholar. I can't play it. Um, Creep the Reaper for me. <laughs> okay, and then we have... Glory is mine. Okay, very serious. Meet your maker. Okay. Better luck next time. Oh, there's something about the sc Hang on, let me... Greet the Reaper for me. Okay, I'm not sure I like that one. I'm ready! Okay. Prepare yourself. Oh, I like the trickster one. Meet your maker. Warrior is very... Hang on. Greet the Reaper for me. No, maybe I don't like the trickster one. Try again. You're not trying to escape, are you? Try again. Glory is mine! Glory is mine. Oh, it's very serious. You're not trying to escape, are you? No. Almost got me that time. Maybe the scholar? Glory is mine. Prepare yourself. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That, that did it. I think we're going to go for the scholar voice. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Okay, so we've got a build preset inquisitor. And we have attributes here. Strength, intelligence, and constitution. Strength increases your damage with strength-based weapons and skills and allows you to lift and carry heavier items. Okay. Um, hang on. Can move items with weight up to 83 kilos and can carry items with total weight up to 110 before becoming encumbered. Okay. And we have intelligence, that's fine. And constitution, okay. So it's purely for vitality. One point will add 7% vitality. And we can edit this. Okay, the attributes panel shows the primary stats that you can spend points in after you level up. Primary stats have a direct influence on secondary stats. Oh, okay, understood. Okay. Oh, okay. Combat abilities. Spending points on combat abilities generally increases the damage you do in the skill schools you, have, you invest in. However, there are other benefits as well. Read the descriptions of the skill schools to fully understand what the invested points do. Understood. Okay. So we have strength that we've read. We have finesse. Finesse increases your damage with finesse-based weapons and skills. Oh, I don't know what... I guess this is what they automatically picked for me for um, Inquisitor. And we have intelligence. Determined intelligence-based damage, yep. Constitution, yes. Memory. Memory affects your amount of memory slots, which are required to learn skills. More powerful skills cause more memory slots. Okay, so like spell slots, I'm guessing. We have wits. Wits affect your critical chance, initiative, and your ability to detect traps and find hidden treasures. Ooh, I kind of like that. Can I sacrifice one constitution to have one wits? Can we double up? Ooh, we can double up. Okay, so, ooh, no, not that. I want strength. Do I want finesse? Maybe I should play like a non-spell casting class. Then that way I can focus just on physical um, attributes and wits. No, you know what? It's fine. We can do strength, intelligence, and we'll do... I kind of really like wits. Because of the, in I see initiative and I want to grab it, you know. Um, maybe this will be bad, but who knows. If we have abilities, okay, we have warfare. Warfare increases all physical damage you deal. 5% uh, more damage. Isn't this under warfare? This is under warfare. And then we have necromancer. Okay, so we've got the two that we need because those are the spells we have. Necromancer heals you whenever you deal damage directly to vitality. Ooh! That's really good. And then we have telekinesis. Telekinesis allows you to move items telepathically, regardless of weight. Oh, okay. That's really... Oh, okay, there's more. Oh, there's a lot more. Civil abilities. Civil abilities are non-combat abilities. They come in handy when you are not solving a situation through conflict. Okay. Um, so these are the combat abilities. Um, there's a lot here. 
We have Warfare, which we know. We have Huntsman, increases the damage bonus when attacking from high ground. Okay. We have the Scoundrel. Scoundrel increases movement speed and boosts your critical modifier. This one is physical damage. Okay. Pyrokinetic increases all fire damage you deal. Okay. Hydrosophist increases all water damage you deal and any vitality healing or magic armor restoration that you cause. Okay. Aerotherge, air damage. Geomancer increases all poison and earth damage you deal and any physical armor restoration you cause. Okay. Necromancer, that's one we know. We have summoning. It, summoning increases vitality, damage, physical armor, and magic armor of your summons and totems. Okay. Then we have Polymorph. Polymorph provides one free attribute point per point invested. Oh, okay. Then we have weapons, combat abilities, single handed. Increases damage and accuracy when using single-handed weapon, dagger, sword, axe, mace, or wand with a shield or empty offhand. Okay, so we have two-handed. Two-handed increases the, the damage and critical multiplier when using two-handed melee weapon, sword, axe, mace, spear, or staff. Ranged. Range increases damage and critical chance when using bows and crossbows. We have dual wielding. Uh, increases damage and dodging when dual wielding two or one-handed weapons. Okay. Then we have defense. Retribution reflects received damage to your attacker. Oh, that's really cool. Do I want that? And then we have leadership. Leadership grants dodging and resistance bonuses to all allies in an 8 meter radius. And we have perseverance. Perseverance restores magic armor after you recover from frozen or stunned and restores physical armor after knocked down or petrified. Ooh, I think, you know, I think I might do this. Retribution, yeah. I think I think that might be cool. Um, I'm gonna try not to think too hard about it because there's so much, and maybe we'll get to have this later on as well. Anyway, so we have craftsmanship two, nasty deeds, and personality. Interesting. So craftsmanship is telekinesis and law master. So we can move things and law master. There we go. We were, uh, I was asking about this earlier. Law master identifies enemies and allows you to identify items. Increasing law master allows you to identify more and faster. To identify, use an identifying glass and select the item you want to identify. To examine a monster or NPC, select them and choose examine. Oh, okay. So that's like a that's like an ability. And if we don't have it, do we not get to do it? That's interesting. Um, nasty deeds. Okay, we have sneaking. Sneaking determines how well you can sneak without getting caught. Increasing this ability shrinks NPC sight cones. Oh, and improves your movement speed while sneaking. That's pretty good, actually. Thievery. Thievery improves your lockpicking and pickpocketing skills. To pick lock or use a, use a lockpick or the context menu of a door to, or container to pickpocket, interact with character while sneaking. Okay. Then we have uh, bartering. Bartering improves your haggling skills. With each point invested, traders' items become cheaper and your items become more expensive. Ooh, that's actually pretty good, maybe. Uh, persuasion. Persuasion helps you convince characters to do your bidding in dialogues and increases how much characters like you. Ooh, pretty good. And then we have Lucky Charm. Lucky Charm increases your likelihood of finding extra treasure whenever loot is stashed. Also pretty. They're all pretty good. Do I care about Lawmaster? Do I want Persuasion instead? I love the icon for Persuasion as well, the little sparkles next to the dude. Um, do I want Telekinesis? Maybe we don't want Telekinesis and we want Persuasion. Right? Right? Is Telekinesis really good? I don't know, maybe I'll regret it, but I kind of like the Persuasion like, maybe we'll get some persuasion checks or something. I usually play a bard, and I didn't see any, like, bard-esque type. You know what I mean? Um, let me try to remember this, but, like, let's say we have... I feel like the... Sh I don't know which one's more bard-esque. The Shadow Blade, I think, maybe? But no, that's very roguish. Again, I know this is not D&D based, so... It's all different classes, but yeah, I would normally go for like a bard, you know? So, oh no, did I undo? I think I may have undid my thing just by changing it. Um, let's take away constitution and put one into wits. And we will 
take warfare away and do uh, retribution and then we'll do no telekinesis and one to persuasion yeah you know what? i think we'll we'll be a very charming inquisitor why not no i didn't mean to do that <laughs> i wanted to go up here okay sorry we have to do that again let's go here confirm um let's take that and do a retribution and i don't want telekinesis i'll take persuasion confirm and then we'll go to talents here okay so talents determine a character's unique features select talents to complement a character's abilities and attributes okay understood so we have ancestral knowledge and corpse eater and that is oh boy that is a a lot of uh, oh they're red ones as well um and there's a lot to go through so let's go through them um we have one point to spend. Okay, so we have Ambidextrous. Ambidextrous reduces the cost of using grenades and scrolls by 1 AP when your offhand is free. Okay. Um, I don't know if I would pick this. Um, arrow Recovery. Arrow Recovery gives you 33% chance to recover a special arrow after shooting it. Ooh, okay. And then we have Comeback Kit. Once per combat, if an enemy lands a fatal blow, Comeback Kit will help you bounce back to life with 20% health. If you die and are resurrected in combat, Comeback Kit will be available again. Oh wow, that's really, really good. Okay, we have Elemental Affinity. I'm putting a pin in that. Um, elemental Affinity. Elemental Affinity lowers the action point cost of spells by one when standing in the surface of the same element. Okay, not bad. Good for the Shaman type character maybe um escapist escapist allows you to flee combat even when enemies are right next to you okay cool uh far out man far out man increases the range of skills and scrolls by two meters does not affect melee and touch range skills okay we have five star diner five star diner doubles the effects of food and potions oh i don't know if we maybe for the later levels if we if we get to pick new talent Sorry, I'm just going to have a sip here. There is so much reading. Um, okay, then we have a glass cannon. With glass cannon, you start every combat round with maximum AP, but magical, uh, magic and physical armor do not protect you from statuses. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's actually kind of... Okay. Um... Uh, that's kind of cool. We have Gorilla while sneaking. Gorilla increases attack damage by 40%. Also reduce the cost, reduces the cost of entering sneak mode by 1 AP. Okay. Then we have Hothead. While you are at maximum vitality, Hothead grants you an extra 10% critical chance and 10% more accuracy. Oh, okay. We have Leech. Leech heals you when you are standing in blood. Oh, but we already have that. As a spell. Oh, does that mean that if we take another class, we can just take this talent? But there are other talents we might want. Okay, let's let's read the rest before we decide. Okay, we're almost there. Um, living armor. Living armor adds 35% of all healing you receive by skills or consumables to your magic armor. Okay. Then we have Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf provides plus 2 max AP, plus 2 recovery AP, 30% vitality, 60% physical armor, 60% magic armor, and doubles invested points in attributes up to a maximum of 40, and combat abilities except polymorph ability up to a maximum of 10, while you are adventuring solo or with at most one companion. Okay, this bonus is temporarily removed while there are more than two members in the current party. Okay, that's really cool. So they actually have a talent for if you want to do like solo run or something. Uh, mnemonic. Mnemonic gives you three extra points in your memory attribute. Okay, nice, simple, straightforward. Morning person. When resurrected, you resurrect to full health. Okay, hopefully we won't need to use this too often. Or like resurrection, I mean. Um, opportunist. Opportun opportunist gives you the ability to perform attacks of opportunity. Oh, okay. So that might not be a default thing then. Okay, we have Parry Master. Parry Master gives you a 10% dodging while dual wielding. Okay, we have Pet Pal. Pet Pal enables you to talk to animals. We always like to go speak to animals, don't we? Um, we have Savage Sortilage. Savage Sortilage gives all magical skills a critical chance equal to your critical chance score. Okay, not bad. Slingshot, but I'm not really that much of a 
spellcaster maybe? Uh, slingshot adds an extra 5 meter range to your grenade throws. Stench. Stench decreases everyone's attitude towards you by 25, but melee opponents find you less attractive in combat. Less attract. Oh, okay, like, as in, they might not attack you as much, I think. <laughs> and not that they won't take you up for dates, or they probably won't do either. Um, torturer. With torturer, certain statuses caused by you are no longer blocked by magic or physical armor, and their duration is extended by one turn. Burning, poison, bleeding, necrophire, acid, suffocating, entangled, death wish, and ruptured. Uh, ruptured tendons are affected by this talent. Oh, okay. We have Unstable. Unstable makes you explode in a bloody cloud when you die, dealing 50% of your vitality as physical damage in a 3 meter radius. Um, okay, we have Walk It Off. Walk It Off reduces all status durations by one turn, including positive statuses. Does not affect statuses with a duration of one turn. Oh. Okay. Um, then we have What A Rush. What A Rush increases your recovery and maximum action points by one when your health is below 50%. We have all skilled up. Oh, this requires level 2. All skilled up immediately gives you one extra combat ability point and one extra civil ability point. Oh, okay. I like that. We have bigger and better. Bigger and better immediately grants you two extra attribute points to spend. We have demon. A character with a demon has, a, has an extra 15% fire resistance, but takes a 15% penalty to water resistance. Additionally, the maximum fire resistance is raised by 10. Okay. Then we have Duck Duck Goose. Duck Duck Goose lets you evade attacks of opportunity. Oh, okay. Um, what was the one that we wanted? Comeback Kid seems good, but a lot of these seem like you need to be either dying or at fifty percent or not getting hit at all, like full health or something. Um, we're not doing Lone Wolf just because. I don't, I'm not going to do a first playthrough solo. Uh, stench seems interesting, but only affects melee opponents. I am so tempted just to pick Pet Pal because I don't know if we will have spells or potions um, that allows us to speak to animals, and I don't want to be stuck in a situation where if I if I do meet an animal that I can't speak to them because as well at least as I've learned um, speaking to animals is actually highly highly beneficial um, you get a lot of potentially treasure or information or law or things like that or even friends so maybe I mean the rest are all very there's one there was one mnemonic I think that just gives you three extra points I don't know if that's something you can earn from leveling um, and we know that I bought like a million speak to animal potions in my last campaign of Baldur's Gate 3. Um, I think I might, I might. I'm, I'm going to kind of stay with that because it was so nice to have it. And I think I just, I just like having it. I don't know if this is going to be a waste and I don't know if we can respec later on, but it's fine. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go along. So, okay, we have Pet Pal and we don't have any more points. So now we have tags. Tags determine what options are available to you in dialogue and how the world reacts to your party members. Custom characters have race, gender, and background tags. Origin characters have unique origin tags. Okay, understood. Your origins. Barbarian, just... Oh, okay, so we can pick this. Um, they call, I think. Can we? Oh, no, I didn't want to actually. Okay, so they call you a savage, an animal. They don't know what it's like to need to fight tooth and claw just to survive, but you do. Okay, then we have the jester, quick with a quip and swift of song. You are an entertainer above all. You can disarm the public with your body tails and mesmerize them with midnight frights. Oh, I like that one. Um, mystic. Cracks in reality lead you to other times and places. Some of the void, some of the gods. Your vision is not quite your own, but you can make use of it. Okay, cool. We have noble. Born to riches and luxury, you have an aristocratic bearing, elegant speech, and the finest manners. Okay. We have outlaw. Back alleys and rooftops know well the tread of your boots. You've got friends in lowly places and enemies to match. 
okay? We have scholar, intelligent and curious. Your appetite for learning far exceeds your taste for bloodshed. Books and scrolls are your dearest possessions. Then we have the soldier, trained in order, obedience and warfare. You know the difference between a latrine and a lieutenant. <laughs> oh no. Um, okay, I'm going to go with the jester here just because it's the most bard-esque one. An instrument. Okay, select your origin instrument. It will take the lead in the music. Oh, wow. Okay, during fights. Ah, no, I didn't finish reading. Okay, I'm assuming that during the fights, it will be the lead instrument. That's really cool. That's really cool. Uh, the Bansuri. Okay, and we have the Tambura. Okay, we have the Oud. Oh, I like that. That's very lute-esque. And with the cello. <gasps> oh. Okay, it's between the oud and the cello. Oh, I think I like the contrast. This gives a little more. I'm gonna go with the oud here. And I think... I think that is it. Alright, so here is our character with the really cool helmet, if I put it on. Um, and I think I think that is it. Let us... Let us get on this adventure. Okay, I'm gonna hit start game now. Oh, my days. Okay, so warning, you still have points to spend. Oh, points can also be spent later in-game. Continue. No, 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 no. Wait, do I have points to spend? Available tags. One. Oh, can I... Can I have two? Oh, I can have two. Ooh, okay, then let's do Jester and um, Mystic, maybe? No, Scholar. Oh, I think I might go with the Outlaw. Jester and Outlaw, very cheeky. Okay, do I have any more points to spend? This is zero. This seems to be... Okay. Oh, skills. We can edit our skills. I didn't look at that. Ooh, okay. From the Necromancer ability. Is this all we have to pick from? Um, decaying touch. Selected skills. Okay. Decaying touch deals 6 to 7 physical damage to target character. Sets decay so the target will take physical damage from healing spells and potions. Very cool. Raise bloated corpse. Target a corpse to raise a bloated cadaver that fights for you. It can explode, dealing physical damage. Then we have Mosquito Swarm and Bloodsucker equipped already. Let's do the Bloated Corpse one. Why not? And confirm. Okay. Wait. Oh no, did I just undo it all? I did. I did, didn't I? Oh! I took the Warfare ability away. So it's taken away the uh, Battering Ram. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, hang on. Let me... I have to do that again then. Let's sacrifice constitution for wits for now. We'll take away warfare. Okay, so... We need to take away telekinesis for persuasion. And... Okay, I don't want... What if I don't want warfare? Then I won't have access to that. But I do want retribution. Because it feels really good. What if I go Scoundrel, though? That could be cool, you know? Or not, maybe. <laughs> I don't, I'm not really keen on the elemental ones. Maybe elemental type things are really good, I don't know. Um, or I could go weapon-based. Nah, you know what, I think I'm going to... I'm, I think I'm going to actually do what I did before, which was um, we'll put Retribution in. Yeah. And then confirm it. And then we'll add this corpse spell in. Confirm that. Perfect. And then we'll go to talents. And we have pet pal. Okay, perfect. That's zero now. We have tags. The tag stayed. Perfect. And I think... Okay, sorry. Little loop around, but now we're back. Okay, so now can we start game? Confirm, okay. So are you sure you are done with the character creation? No, I'm not sure, but I'm sure we will figure things out as we go. So, yes. And I'm also going to have to try to resist the urge to re-roll 
at any given point in time. So, um, here goes. Let's go. Yes. as I'd planned. I was shackled and collared and sent to Fort Joy. I'd come here to kill Godwoken. But instead, I became part of their story. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. I like the illustrative style cinematic. Um, it's very, very cool. So, still a bit groggy, are we? Don't worry. The sedative will wear off soon enough. Oh, okay. We have to continue here. Easy now. No need to hurry. Get your bearings and report to me upstairs. Okay. Okay, so we are captured once more. So it... it wasn't a dream after all. It wasn't a dream after all indeed. Do we have the right voice on? Uh, who knows? Okay, let me test out my controls here. Okay, so we do get highlights. We have a bucket. A bucket that's a helmet. Oh, the camera stopped following your party member. You can look around freely using the arrow keys to read. I did not read that in time. Okay, never mind. Um, no, I've got the recenter. We got a grinning skull here. Oh, not a very chatty fellow, are you? No, not very. Oh my days, my voice. Okay. Use. Not a very chatty fellow, are you? Okay. Um, game saved. Oh, yes. Okay. So, what is this? Ball and chip. Rubbish. Rubbish. <laughs> okay, so this is a bucket helmet. Equipment panel. To equip an item, open your inventory and drag the item into the matching equipment slots. Understood. Oh, yes. We should change that. I to access your character pane. Um... Okay, inventory intro. This is your inventory. Everything you picked up is stored here. Press the middle mouse button on objects in your inventory to find out what you can do with them. Understood. Um, hang on, let, I need to change that. Uh, controls. Okay, I, 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 I. Where are you? Game master inventory. Let's change that to X. Accept. X is currently assigned to game master target. Kill, resurrect, toggle, action bar on hot bar do you want to remove the toggle actions bar on hot bar uh yes toggle action to okay this is kill that's one of them action bar on hot bar this is also character panel i i'm gonna change that to x as well uh no and then we're gonna action bar on hot bar we'll do that as i and uh, kill resurrect. I'm just gonna swap the two. Okay, let's see this now. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so back to the bucket. Two physical armor. N minus one initiative though, and it's level two. So can I use this? I'm level one. Can hold fluids or heads. <laughs> okay, wait. Equip. Oh, we can actually be a bucket head. Oh. Okay, so we. Okay, that's how we hide. But this is so funny. 
Um, but it's negative one to initiative and it's on red now. Maybe we don't do that. Maybe we don't do that. Uh, okay, let's loot this table. There's nothing in here. Oh boy, okay, so that is not what I want. Hang on. Sorry. Pardon me, I just need to change a couple of these. I forgot an E. Uh, e for loot all. Toggle creatures and item panel toggle equipment. Okay, we'll remove this. We'll clear these. Where is my take all? UI take all? Is that what it is? Accept. Apply. Accept. Let's see. Okay, perfect. Um, I'll f maybe if I need the other thing. Because this will do that. Okay. Should be fine. Let's uh, let's see what's in this crate. Move item. Move objects by clicking and dragging them. Understood. Okay, cool. Oh, a log and some gold. Wars are won and lost by it. Bonds are formed and broken for it. Fancy gear is purchased by it. That last one sounds pretty tempting, doesn't it? Yes, it does. A sturdy and unremarkable log ready to be whittled into something more remarkable in your hands. Right, okay. Uh, there's a door here. And there's a sheep! Okay, so we can, I think... An animal sty. Freight or food. Freight or food, indeed. Okay, so we should have... Where are we? Um, where are our... Okay, abilities. Abilities shape what characters can do and how well they do it. Okay. Uh, these are the combat abilities. And we have the civil abilities and our talents. Right, so we do have the pet pal. Talents are a character's unique qualities and slightly change the rules for that particular character. Understood. Yes, because now we can speak to this sheep, I think. Ooh. Oh, okay, so this uh, gives us all the the um, text that we had earlier. Um, hello, sheep. Shaking her fluffy coat, the sheep eyes you balefully. Her rectangular eyes like letterboxes to the void. With one sharp hoof, she kicks you right in the shin. Oh, my days. Okay. Because you have the pet pal talent, you can easily converse with animals. Understood. Yeah. That was not very nice. Fresh meat. <laughs> nice. Plump, banded like a chicken's leg too. Um, what does that mean, banded like a chicken's leg? Poke the sheep's ample belly with your toe. Remark that she's got more meat on her than you do. Oh my days! Sniff and tell the sheep you don't appreciate being likened to a farm animal. Ooh, okay, we've just an outlaw dialogue. Say you're glad she likes to joke around. Has she heard the one about the dancing sheep? Outlaw, wink and say her fleece would fetch a better price on the black market than your flesh. You don't intend to take sass like this from a sheep. Take your leave instead. No, um, let's go with the jester one. The depth of unamused ennui staring back at you from those ovine eyes is startling. Very serious sheep. Uh... Are you referring to the ballerina? Oh, so funny, so funny. <laughs> Okay, this is a sassy, serious sheep. With two shakes of her stumpy tail, the sheep turns away from you to peruse her hay-filled manger. Okay, that's it. End. Can we speak to her again? Get your dirty little paws out of my hay! <laughs> oh my days. Okay, well... Bye, sheep. Rude. <laughs> oh, we can pick that up. What is this? A box. It weighs 50. No, 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 we're dropping it. I don't need that, I don't think. Uh, a bucket with water. Okay, I need to, I need, maybe I need to figure out my boutons again. A sack, nothing in it. Nothing in this. We have to loot everything. Empty potion bottle, an empty vial, waiting to hold whatever wild concoctions you can brew. Do we need that? It's worth 20 gold. If anything, we can sell it. Oh, okay, a cargo door key. This key looks old and rusty. It may just have it may have just one use left in it. Okay, we'll take that. Um This is where we came from. There is the bucket. Let's go through this door. 
It's locked. It's not locked. Did we use our key? I'm guessing we did. Ooh, a letter. And some food. We'll take all the food. Apple pie. Old plate. That's worth zero gold. So no, ham. Looks like it could be pork meat. Or is it wallock? What is wallock? Uh, bread. Sunset grains baked with love into a golden loaf. Take that. And a letter. A firm, a firm note written in a firm hand. Books. To read books or notes, open your inventory and use the object. Understood. Okay, so here. Letter. And we have a backpack seemingly bottomless. Ooh, moving container panes. Move a container's inventory window by dragging it with left mouse button. Okay. Aha. Use a backpack to store grenades, arrows, or potions. Place it in your hotbar to quickly access its content. Ah, okay. Let's do that. Put that in there. Um, potions. We'll put that in there. Right. Keeping organized already. Uh, let's read this letter. Orders from the guard steward. Important. It's come to my attention again that several of you are bypassing the cargo hold security measures by sliding boxes onto the pressure plates. This will not do. The purpose of these measures is to require the presence of at least three magisters at a change of shift. Any deviation will result in at least one magister getting thrown overboard. Make sure it isn't you, Magister Suen. Ooh, okay. Um, and I think that's the magister that woke us up or greeted us earlier. Um, so pressure plates. Pressure plates. I'm guessing there's some pressure plates somewhere. Uh, can we loot this? No, we can loot this shelf. Nothing on it though. Um, and this is locked. Mechanisms. This door is operated by pressure plates. Okay, stand on them or place heavy objects on them. Understood. Where are the pressure plates? Are these the pressure plates? Oh, they are. Okay. Um, maybe we can put the barrel. Oh, a pocket knife. I'll take that. Um, I guess we can equip it. Very cool. And put this here. Very nice. Will this work? Okay, very cool. And old plate. And then we have... Anything else? No? Okay, let's go. We'll, we'll probably uh, loop around. I see some poison happening here. Um, ooh, oil. Apply slowed, ignoring magic armor. Okay. Uh, game saved. There's a guard here. He's sleeping. Okay. Let's examine. Sleeping permanent. Can, can, character cannot move or use skills. The status can be broken by damage. Cured by clear-minded and enraged. Ooh, okay. Dodging negative 100. So if you put someone to sleep, you can guarantee or guarantee to hit them, maybe? Uh, electric discharge scroll. Maybe we'll pick that up. Yeah. Surfaces. Come here. Oh, okay. You've stepped in oil. Oil surfaces can slow you down and can also be ignited. Every surface has its own effects. Okay, understood. And can I click this candle holder? Oh no, it just turns it on and off. Do we have... Um, welcome to the local party chat. Local party. I don't know if I need that. Um, do we have a toggle log? There we go. Oh my days, okay. What is... Oh, my days. How does this work? Oh, okay. It's like that. Um, can we make it... Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then we have... What's this? Combat. Dialogue. Banter. And item interaction. Uh, okay, there we go. I think that's everything. All filters are on by default. Are they, though? I had to turn them on. And then we're going to pin this. Oh, this is super... Flexible. Um, let me see if I can allow clicking through log window and lock log background. Okay, let's make this a little, maybe a little skinnier and taller. And then we'll do that. Okay, so uh, I'm guessing the lever might open the door. Hemwar, the source muter as well. 
What does this mean? Character can no longer use source magic or receive source points. Okay, that's not good. Um, but I guess everyone here is. Oh, let's grab this scroll. You found a magic scroll. With it, you can cast spells you haven't yet learned. Okay, understood. Uh, let's see here what we have. He is standing in water. Can be electrified or frozen. Can be apply slowed, ignoring magic armor. Then we have an oil barrel here. Oil barrel here as well. Okay, well, we don't have any fire spells, so let's speak to Hemwar. Hey! Hey! Get me out of this cage and I'll make it worth your while! You in? Okay. Uh, agree to help and ask what to do. Turn your back, there's no way you're getting involved. Eye him carefully. Why is he in a cage in the first place? Demand to know what exactly is in it for you or take your leave. Um, do we want to free him? Eye him carefully. Why is he in a cage in the first place? Let's do that. Your guess is as good as mine. Someone screamed loud as a banshee. After that, pure pandemonium. They never even told me what I was accused of. Just dragged me down here. Mm. Okay, agree to help and ask what to do. Okay, it's the same. Uh, let's ask what is in it for us. Demand to know what exactly is in it for you. Set me free, and I'll set you free. A fair trade, I should think. But I am free-ish. Does he mean the collar? Um. Okay, let's let's help him out. Agree to help and ask what to do. A gentleman among jesters, you are. Give that lever a pull, and I guarantee we'll both get something out of the deal. Okay, sure. Um, we'll pull. Will that anger this guy? He's asleep. We'll be fine. Before you can even touch oh. the lever, you hear a sniff and snort behind you as the snoring magister mumbles himself awake. One bloodshot eye opens, and then another. Okay, never mind. I was about to say he's not a very good guard, but it seems he's got very sharp hearing. Uh, continue. Is my shift over? Are you here to relieve me? Oh, wait, you're oh. no Magister. You're a sorcerer. What are you doing here, filthy elf? Choose your words carefully. My fists ache to meet a new face. Oh, okay. Uh, persuasion. Sometimes you'll be able to persuade the person you are talking to. Your answer, your stats, and your persuasion ability will be able will decide how successful you will be. Okay, understood. Um, okay, so he's not happy. Um, we can trade with him, though. Looking at this. Inventory. Okay, exit inventory. Uh, we can trade. What do you have? Drag items you wish to buy or sell onto the bar to window. Balance the offer by pressing the scales. Confirm the transaction by pressing the red accept uh, button. You can also identify and repair items at a trader. Understood. Okay. Um... Oh, poison arrowhead. An evil smelling arrowhead that fizzes and hisses beneath its venomous coating. Try not to inhale as you craft with it. Do I have any money? I have 11 that I picked up. He's got gold. And no lemon, sadly. Empty potion bottle. Cup of tea. Best enjoyed near the hearth on a rainy day. True. Uh, this is 80 gold. I definitely can't afford that. I think we won't bother with him for now. Let's look at what we have here. Ignore the guard and make a move towards the nearby lever. Tell the truth. You're snooping around. What's he going to do about it? And then we have the wits persuasion. Okay. Salute him and say that his superior sent to you. He's to report to the upper deck. Constitution persuasion. Tell him you heard yelling coming from above. He needs to get up there. Finesse persuasion. Laugh and tell him one of the guards on the upper deck fell overboard. He should check it out. Or tell the guard you're itching for a fight and he's your mark. Okay, that's it. Um, well, we have the wits and I think we have persuasion. So let's uh, salute him and say his superior sent us. He's to report to the upper deck. Ooh, persuasion success. Ooh, I've got an achievement. Convincing. Okay, um, continue. Oh, and it's about time too. The lads and lasses up there are getting lazy. Figures they'd send one of you sorcerers down. They can barely be chuffed to wiggle a single toe. Okay. Can't just leave the prisoner alone though. I heard he might be the one causing trouble upstairs. Oh. 
There's trouble upstairs. Ignore the guard, lunge for the lever and yank it downwards. Strength persuasion. Flex your arms, you'll keep an eye on the prisoner. He wouldn't dare cross you. Intelligence persuasion. Remark on the sturdiness of the cell bars. The prisoner's not going anywhere. Memory persuasion. Speak boastfully as of your days as a prison warden. The guard can go ahead. You've got this. Um, we've got strength, haven't we? Or intelligence. I think we have both. Let's try for the intelligence one. Uh, remark on the sturdiness of the cell bars. The prisoner is not going anywhere. Persuasion failure. Your persuasion one needed two. Oh, okay. If it's all the same, I think it's best he comes with me. Some offense intended. You hear that, Emoir? We're taking a walk. Oh, okay. Well, he wanted to get out of the cell, so I guess uh, he got what he wanted. Come on. And keep your hands where I can see them. Okay, bye bye, Hemwa. Well Hurry we... up, sorcerer. We haven't got all day. Oh! Oh! I thought he was talking to me. Oh my days, Hemwa! Hemwa is an enemy. Oh my days. Oh, and the guard's almost dead. Oh, <laughs> oh my days, Hemwa. Wait, how can he- Okay, wait. Combat in Divinity Original Sin 2 is played in rounds. Everything you do in combat costs action points, AP, which you receive each round. You, your turn ends when you have no AP left. Understood. Oh my days. Okay. From left to right, the order of the character portraits determine the order turn order of combat. Understood. Um, attack and movement. Press the left mouse button on an enemy to attack and press the left mouse button on the ground. I didn't read that. Oh my days. Okay. I don't- I think Magister Renard might be in trouble. Um, Hemwa, you cheeky man. Um, what can I do here? I can't use this. Not enough source points. Source muted. Can't cast. Okay, well, I'll move you away. Oh, moving items and skills out of your hotbar is only possible if unlocked. Yep. Let's unlock that. Is there any way to extend this? Oh no, this is not extending it. This is just cycling through. Um, is there an attack? Uh, where is my skills? K, same, okay. Uh, innate skills. Sucker punch! An unexpected blow that deals 6 to 7 physical damage and knocks down target. Um, we got this from items? Uh, let's put this on the hotbar. Why not? Yeah, I think that is it. Okay, yeah, let, let's do that. Uh, do we... I don't have a dagger equipped. I do. A shiv. Um, I'm gonna sucker punch him. <laughs> Target's too far. Okay, let's go. Let's go here. Two AP to walk there. Okay. So how many... This is, this is one AP. Okay, so can I... End your turn by pressing button 2. Any action points you have left will be saved. Oh no! Wait. Didn't I have... Okay, anyway, it's fine. Let's sucker punch him. Sucker punch you, Hemwa. Oh, you're knocked down. Okay, that's so good. Oh yeah, heal, Magister Renard. I don't know. Do I want to support the Magisters? Do I not? I don't know. Combat backstab. Move into the cone behind an enemy and attack while wielding a dagger to perform a backstab. Successful backstabs perform instant critical hits. Okay, understood. Oh wow, instant crits. This is your hotbar. Drag, uh, click on a skill icon to perform that action. Cancel by pressing middle mouse button. I can't read it in time. I'm sorry, I'm too speedless. Um, what does delay your turn mean? Okay, we're gonna just hit. Oh, can I? Oh, okay. So wait, if I stand here. But I have 4 AP. Okay, if I stand here, I'm slowed, but can I backstab? Okay, flanked. Let's see what he's got. Source muted and flanked. What, how do I examine this? Okay, source muted. Wait, hang on. Can I? Is there a button for examination? Hang on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, controls. Examine. Interact. Left mouse button. No, not that. Um, I don't see it. Toggle stats. Toggle waypoint. No, not that. 
enter, not that. Uh, maybe I have to look it up later. For now, we'll just use our mouse. But let's see what he's got on. He's got flanked, dodging negative ten percent each per each adjacent enemy beyond the first. Okay, and Magister Renat is burning. Has three orange <laughs> and cup of tea. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Oh, okay, he heals. Okay, he ate all his food. Okay, <laughs> okay, let's try to backstab. Hemwa, I think. Who am I fight? Are they both enemies? Okay, let's let's go for Hemwa, I guess. He started the fight. You ruined my whole persuasion check. Oh my days. Renat Renat heal! Oh my days! Why are you fighting me, sir? <gasps> Why are you fighting me, sir? Oh my days. I was trying to help, man. Okay. Oh, Hemwa's green. Oh, I'm sorry, Hemwa. I didn't mean to fight you. Uh, where are we? Where's the cone? Where's the cone? Let's let's hit him. Oh no. Okay. Uh, let's use our. Oh, let's try out the blood sucker thing. Can we heal ourselves? Can we blood sucker? Can we blood sucker? Okay. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Well, I'm sorry, so Hemwa. A dead magister. So Somebody much for to take a peaceful for this, stroll. And it won't be me. Oh. Somebody who had to take the blame and it won't be you. Okay. You switch to another deck. Something. There's something that happened. Okay. Um, stained pants. Ooh, the pants are better than ours. Laboratory key. This key looks old and rusty. It may have just one use left. And we'll take all. We'll take all. Don't have his food though, sadly. Uh, can we move his body? No, we can't. Okay. That's fine. Okay, Ham was just off then. I feel bad that I hit him. <laughs> I didn't. I don't know. His his little outline was red. I thought he was uh, like his his initial the hot bar thing was uh, red. Okay, so this is the laboratory maybe. The key that we got. Ooh, gold. I'll take that. We have shelves, healing potion. We'll take that. Oh, okay. So it's just one click to open. That's fine. Um, let's look in the shelves. The shelves here actually have objects. Amazing. Let's see, anything here? Uh, no? What is this? Empty. Empty, okay. A med medical cabinet. Ooh, a piece of ham. I'll take that. Minor healing potion. We'll take that too. Nothing else we can loot. Oh, another potion. We'll take that. And there's some poison. Applies one to two poison damage. Okay. Uh, is there anything? That's a candle. When I get to the shelf, maybe we gotta walk away, our way around then. Igniting poison. Move a candle into the poison surface or set it on fire to blow up the door. Oh! Candle? Can I throw? Okay, move this candle here. Oh, fucking hell, that was close. I thought we were gonna hit, get hit there. Oh no, but that's not any better. Should we get the bucket of water? Is that going to die off? Well, the fire here died off earlier. Okay, so it does die off. Okay, perfect. Thank you, candle. Take this. Not the most elegant solution, was it? Uh, no, I suppose not. Deck of cards. Deck of cards. We'll take that. What does that do? Ooh, hang on. Let me um move this up a touch. Like that, maybe? Okay. Uh, a deck of cards. What do you do? A deck of playing cards with illustrations of the royalty of Rivalan's history. Okay. Cool, I guess. Uh, is this locked? It is. Does this open it? Aha! Very good. And I'm back where I started. Nowhere to go but up. I suppose not. Uh, oh, I suppose so, I mean. Right. Well, let's go up then. I don't think there's anything we can loot here. Okay, let's go up. Are you sure you want to leave the tutorial deck? Oh, that is what is this what this level is called? The tutorial deck. Yes. No. Yes? No? I think I've looted everything. Yeah, let's go up. Yes. 
New information was added to your journal. Press L to access it. Note that the quest given. No lesions, oh. No trauma. It was bled by magic. Oh, okay. Um, let's look at our journal here. Let's see here. Chronicles and the Merryweather. Get your bearings, then go to the upper deck. As sorcerers, we have been arrested by the Divine Order. The prison island of Fort Joy awaits. Okay, that's troubled waters. Hot under the collar. Find someone to help you remove your sauce collar. Is. Dallas mm. is such a dear lending it to me. Uh, why does this keep going all the way down and merging into... Let's do this here like this. Um, it doesn't show up here, does it? Banter. Okay, hang on. What was I reading? What was I reading? I was reading something. Oh, my journal. Oh, J doesn't do anything. Hang on. Let me... Uh, controls... L. We'll replace L with J. Where are you, L? Oh, J toggles the mood panel. I don't know what the mood panel is, but... We will replace it. Where is J? L. Journal. Ah, there we go. We'll replace it with J. Accept. Mood panel, uh, remove, yes. And we'll replace that with L. I don't know what that does. We'll find out later, I think. Okay, so... Um, find someone to help you remove your source collar. I'm bound by a magical collar that now cannot where be did removed. I leave my calipers? Okay. And it then we have... The Magister Crusade. What are the Magisters really up to? Led by Lucian's son Alexander, the dominant Magisters of the Divine Order are rounding up sorcerers for exile. Okay, Chapter 1, The Merryweather. Will we escape the Merryweather? We are aboard the Merryweather on our way to the sorcerer colony of Fort Joy. We are told there is a murder on murderer on board with us. Oh no, was Hemba the murderer? Uh, Alexander's advisor Dallas noticed that the Void Woken are attracted to Source. Alexander quarantined the sorcerers. The divine sacrifice did not buy peace. The rise of the Void Woken brought the world death, destruction, and fear. Lucian the Divine, champion of the gods, sacrificed himself to save Rivalon from the Void. His son Alexander now leads the divine order. That's the person that Ifan wants to kill, isn't, isn't it? Okay. Showa. Okay, we have a map. We have dialogues. Okay, so we do have a little dialogue log, at least for proper conversations. And we do have tutorials. Okay, so if I need to, I can come back to this, I think. Um, right. Let's see what we have here. Do we speak to her? Ooh, an ancient book. But that's stealing. Um, let's look around before we go speak to her. What is this? A grotesque jar. Uh, is that, oh god, on second thought, best not gaze too long into this particular abyss. Oh, maybe I don't want that. Not worth any money either. A small tome used to read, that's fine. A jawless skull. Ingredient can be ground to dust. Okay. We have a stained shirt and some milk. Oh, we didn't equip our pants. Hang on, where are they? Wait, what did we, what did we just... Okay, we want this one. That's a plus one to physical armor. Where are... Maybe we want... This? Yes. And then... Uh, stained shirt. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. Yeah. Looking more like ourselves, I think. A pot still. What is that? Ooh, a crafting panel. This is the crafting screen. Select or drag items into the crafting slots and hit the combined button. Valid combinations will be added to your recipe book. Understood. Okay. Um, I don't know any recipes. <laughs> do I know any recipes? A makeshift club. Okay, we do know some recipes. We need rocks and sticks, which I don't think I have. We have a physical armor potion. Okay, so we do need empty potion bottles. And we need Amadovia, which we don't have. Um, a grenade. Okay, we have none of the ingredients. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll get the sum over time, I'm sure. Another bucket. Ooh, a potion bottle. We'll take that. We might have to hoard those, maybe. Ooh, lots more there. A cooking pot. It's a cooking pot for cooking. Should we take it? 
Can we cook in this game, I wonder? Hang on. I don't know. We'll find out later. Uh, mortar and pestle. This invaluable tool for the adept crafter is carved of a darkly marbled stone, unweathered by years of use and flecked with shards of stardust. Oh, maybe we need that. Do we need that? Okay, clicking them doesn't do anything. Let's read some literature before I forget. Deck of cards are there. Small tome. Okay, we have too long presumed source as a virtuous part of civil society, yet we need look no further into the past and the source king's reign to understand the havoc such magics may wreck. One day, another order must follow in the source hunter's footsteps. Sorcerers can, must, be muted. The new model of source callers provided by Redman is proving most effective. Okay, so they're just rounding all of us up then. Uh, a gold cup, shiny. Yes, I'll take it. And I think that's it. Oh, we didn't loot the shelf. And that, this little shelf here. Nothing there. More grotesque jars. There's a barrel here. Uh huh. Okay, so she's got cone of vision. I don't think I can reach the book. That's the thing. It's quick saving work. Okay, saving. Did the murderer take him into this room? Why you're looking a bit more already? chipper? Oh. Yes. Looks like that collar fits you snugly enough. Nice bit of work, even if I do say so myself. Okay, this combat log thing is actually bothering me. Because it keeps... It keeps doing the there thing. Oh, my days. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Oh, not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to click that. I was trying to finagle with that thing. Uh, but... You caught me a dog. Um, continue. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the chap in charge of the logs. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarters. Okay, we have tags. Tags determine what options are available to you in dialogue and how the world reacts to your party members. Custom characters have race, gender, and background tags. Origin characters have unique origin tags. Okay, we've seen that before. Um, you'll find him on this side of the deck in the officer's quarters. Lean in and whisper that the Magister below deck suffered a fatal encounter. Well, I don't know if we want that. You pull at the thing around your neck futilely. Demand to know why she collared you. Or oh, we have uh, Outlaw and Jester. Okay, so Outlaw, look around, look around warily and wonder what damnable dungeon you ended up in this time. The Jester is the last thing you remember is hoisting your 15th pint. Is this the Ram's Head Lou? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with that one. Don't you dare! If you violate the virtue of my carpet, I'll do a good thing worse than put a collar around your neck. Oh my days, okay. Index fingers pressed to her lips, she pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. My word, you do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that sedative. Oh my, okay. Let's see what she has to trade. Salmon pie, some clothes. A shell, a pillow, there are feathers inside. Okay, sure. Okay, nothing that I really need, I don't think, and I don't have much money. Um, oh, well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, all you need to know is that we're en route to Fort Joy. Okay. This is, this is interesting, the continue thing. I'm not sure why it's set up like this, but uh, we'll just have to keep pressing it, I think. A new life awaits, and if you're a particularly good boy, perhaps a cure as well. An end to source. For good. But I don't want to be cured. Lean in and whisper that the Magister below deck suffered a fatal encounter. Uh, let's pull the thing around our neck and demand to know why she collared us. Why, for my peace of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? See what happens. Okay, you recall great powers building inside you, the one you commanded before your capture. Unleash them. She might be playing a trick. Don't do it. What if, like... <laughs> maybe we go with number two here. Oh, do go on. I won't hold it against you. <laughs> Promise. Okay. Oh, I don't know. I don't like the way she just giggled just then. 
Is she setting us up so that we'll do something naughty and then she's going to, like, punish us for it? We'll shake our head and we're not going to do it. My, aren't we a meek little lamb? Perhaps I needn't have collared you at all. Though it does look darling on you. Does it, though? So let's just leave it on, shall we? Because to answer your question, what this collar does is this. It makes you unable to cast Source. For your own peace of mind, of course. Yours and the whole world's. Okay. Um, should we tell her about the Magister below decks? <laughs> um, let's, let's tell her. Why not? She frowns and peers at you closely, resting the back of one hand on your forehead and taking your pulse with the other. Hmm, delusions such as these are rare but not unheard of. I recommend a cup of mulled wine and another night's sleep. Just take it easy. Oh, she doesn't even believe us. Okay, well, I tried. Open your map, important characters will mark, de mark destination on your map. Okay, so we have to go and register? Okay, can I? Can I? Stand here. No, she sees us. What if I turn her around and talk to her? Off to the herd, little sheep. Away you go. I'm gonna be very cheeky here. I'm gonna see if I can steal this book. How do I sneak? Uh... This is your skill screen. If you want to learn more skills, you need to find or buy skill books. Skill belong... Can't read that in time. Um... I can't... Do I... Do I have the basic... Actions? What a well of knowledge oh no, she's moved is. anyway. Dallas is it in is the other bar? Lending it to me. Basic attack. Can I move this somewhere? Three, four, five. Can I, is there a way to move it to number one? Oh no, I've deleted it completely. <laughs> uh, okay, where can I find that again though? Isn't it in my, uh, is it not in my skill panel? Uh, oh boy, okay. Do I not have? I'll need to write to headquarters right away. Maybe nope. Sneak, 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 sneak. Is it the same? Uh, is it the same? Z is jump. No. F is throw. Oh no. F is scrolling through my thing. Okay, never mind. Um, see for sneak. Oh. <laughs> oh my. These smelling salts are strong stuff. Oh my, okay, so she I'll is... Need to write to headquarters I am right a barrel. <laughs> you don't see me. Okay, okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be cheeky and, and, and try to grab this. <gasps> Uh-oh, what's this? Burglary. Some crimes, like murdering or stealing, leave a crime scene, even if nobody saw you. Oh, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to read the book, lady. Hang on, what if I go into the uh, tutorials to read? Oh, no, 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 no. Sneaking failed, that's fine. You didn't see me, I didn't steal that book. Where is my tutorial? Uh, hang on. Journal, journal, journal. Tutorials? Okay. Crime? Would it be under exploration? No. General? No attack and movement. It seems as though there's a pattern in the blood. Um Trading, combat, social interact crime scenes. Okay. Some crimes like murdering or stealing leave a crime scene. Even if nobody saw you commit the crime, they might become suspicious and start investigating. Okay. I think we have avoided her investigation. Either way, let me read the book very quickly. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Um Ancient Book. The Source King insists there were no magics too foul, even those that would block or even remove the Source within an individual. I delight in his madness. It is an invitation to manipulate all which we once believed immutable. He provides all manner of experimental subjects. 
The text beneath lists a series of hexes and materials required for muting source. Some of those objects are circled in black ink and annotated as follows. Helm, collar, mask. Okay, so that's what we've, they've got on us. That's fine. I did not steal nothing, lady. You it saw nothing. It seems as though there's a pattern in the blood flow. Okay. That can't be Good natural. gods! There's... There's been a murder here. Oh. Okay, this is... What is this? Broken sauce caller. And... Nothing else. Let's speak to the Magister Morel. A young Magister stands pale and silent. Her knuckles whiten around her weapon as you pass. Okay, and that's it. Okay. Um, and... Magister Caddock. Behind the Magister, a bloodied mass lies in a heap. Gore and limbs lie at odd angles. You can't make out a face amid the mess. Okay. Um, avoid looking into the room. Between the lurching ship and the smell of blood, you feel a little sick. Peer into the room and ask what happened. Let's ask what happened. There's been a murder. A sorcerer was killed by one of your own. Lucky you were busy getting your collar fitted at the time, or you'd be a suspect like the rest of them. Oh, okay. So we are free of this crime, I suppose. Waters is investigating. She'll figure out who did it. Always does. Um, ask if he could lend a hand in the investigation. Ask if he knew the dead man. Pause. Always does. Ask if this sort of thing happens often. Um, let's ask if he knew the dead man. It's a small ship. His name was Finn. Oddball. Looked to me like he saw something he wished he hadn't before he came here. Okay. We'll find out who did it. One way or another. Oh. And. Can we not offer to help? Nothing to see here. Oh. Will they get mad if I enter the room? Waters. Let's speak to Magister Waters. This is stealing, so we can't do that. Ugly sight, isn't it? Hmm? Burns me up this happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky no Voidwalk and followed the source that did this. Okay, inform her that she wasn't this man's protector, she was his captor. Ask why she's letting you so close to the crime scene, for all she knows, you could be the killer. Well, they said that we were not here at the time, and I don't know if that's going to start a fight. So the Magisters, we don't like them, do we? Uh, inform her that she wasn't this man's protector, she was his captor. Finn didn't see it like that. He was desperate for us to help him. Two things scared the living daylights out of him. His own shadow and his own source. Oh, okay. We'll find out who did this. Speaking of... She looks up at you with a mirthless smile. I was on duty in your room when the murder happened. You were asleep the whole time. Didn't even stir. You're one of the only indisputably innocent people on the ship. Unless you can commit murder in your sleep, of course. Huh. Uh, shrug and say maybe you can. You are a sorcerer after all. Tell her that's a trick you haven't quite mastered. Ask if she's investigating her fellow magisters as well. One of them could have easily done this. That's true. Uh, let's go with that. Finn was killed by Sauce. If a magister could do that, there wouldn't be a magister. Oh, you don't know. It looks more like a passenger managed to slip their collar. And the rest, well, you see the evidence in front of you. Listen. I could use someone to keep their ears open among the passengers. Sometimes they clam up in front of a uniform. Oh, okay, so she's gonna let us help. Bring me a good lead, and I'll throw in a shiny gold coin for you. How about that? Just one. Nod and say you'll let her know if you hear anything interesting. Say that you're no snitch. Laugh, she really thinks you'd help a magister, someone who's keeping you under lock and key. Or tell her your price is considerably higher than that. Uh, let's go with that, actually. Not in here, it isn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> you let me know if you hear anything. Whoever did this is dangerous. Uh, sure. It's a small ship, though. Uh, ooh, we can go in here. Can we go in here? The hatch is blocked. I need to find another way. Oh, okay. That's fine. We'll loot whilst we're in this room. Ooh, what is this? Animal hide. Even an amateur tanner could make a lovely piece of leather from his beautiful hide. Take that. 
there anything we can loot in this uh, room? Broken sauce collar that is stealing, so no. Let's go in here. And please, please, please. Oh, they have kids as well. I forgot how to sing. I did. Oh, it's Loza. Okay. It was one of them. I know so it. we got some companions, I think. A barrel empty. They don't care about us. We'll and we have. Them. Okay, we have Sibyl. Are they all here? They are. A beast is here. One the Red Prince. Ifan. That's a Magister. Namiya. Who's that? Don't know. We have Fane. Is he? Ah, he is in disguise. Okay. We have Magister Paid. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, ooh. And we have... We have... Um, do we have items? We have quite a few items. Okay, who should we speak to first? Um, let's speak to Seville. She's alone. Hello, Seville. An elf sits tucked away in a dark spot, lazily rolling dice onto the surface of a barrel. They sound like the dry cackling of an old witch. Snake eyes. Lucky. She chuckles. I bet that's just what they'll look like. Okay. Uh, wonder what she's doing or ask if you may join her. Uh, let's ask if we can join her. She shakes her head. Oh. Game for one, I'm afraid. Oh, okay. Rolling dice? Deciding fates. Deciding fates. Frown, whose fate is she deciding? Laugh, can she read the future in Carl Entrails as well? Oh my days. Um, let's go with whose fate is she deciding? Don't worry, honey. It isn't yours. I love her voice. Um, okay, good. Not our fates then. She looks you up and down with the merest tint of a coy smile on her lips. Never say never, though. Okay. Um, okay, we still get this dialogue option. Decide it's probably best to take your lead. Um, oh, do we risk it? Do we risk mentioning Carl and Trill? It's kind of weird. Or we, it feels like I'm mocking her. Maybe she likes that. We'll try it, we'll try it. Um, if she can decide fates with dice, ask if she can read the future in Carl Entrails as well. She eyes you suspiciously. Uh-oh. Not the future, no. But I can read the past in flesh. Just like you. And I'm quite good at it too. Oh. Oh, why can't we do that? Why can't we offer to eat the corpse with the uh, investigation? Actually, sorry. Anyway, sorry. Let's. Uh, so Sibyl says yeah, she's quite good at it. Okay. I could lick your arm and tell you how you spent the night before last. Shall I? Oh my days. Okay, we just met, but you want to lick my arm. You don't see why not? Extend your arm or decline. You don't know where her tongue has been. Um, you know what? I don't see why not. Extend your arm. She gives your arm a vigorous stroke of the tongue, efficient like a cat grooming. Hmm. You were in a cellar with other sorcerers. As everyone lay sleeping, you lay awake thinking of someone back home. A very special someone. Oh, okay. You were reminiscing <laughs> about the things you used to do together. Okay, okay. Uh, stare at the ground embarrassed. You had quite forgotten about that. Admit, wide-eyed, that's exactly right. Snap at her. She doesn't know what in the seven hells she's talking about. I don't know if that's true or not, but... Uh, I think we're going to go with number one. Because I don't want to snap at her. Yeah, let's let's go with number one here. She pats you on the shoulder consolingly. Oh, There, there. Don't you worry, darling. Your secret's safe with me. Okay. I don't lick and tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and okay, can we speak to her again? The woman keeps rolling her dice. She pays you no further notice. Okay, so we only get like one conversation. That's that's fair. Uh okay, let's go to um Ifan. Okay, let's speak to Ifan. Never thought you'd end up a prison guard, Vic. Would you put a well, I, I'm trying to I always knew you'd turn out rotten Ben Mest. Ben Mest, okay. Kind always hung closest to our divine. I'll give you that knuckle if you keep carrying on. Okay. Well, 
You've got this wolf on a leash now. They're picking us off one by one. As soon as the Inquisitor gets we here, we'll hang you right park, over the side I of the ship. You oh, you sorry, the camera. Up. I'm trying to adjust it, actually. Okay, so these two know each other, I think. Uh, Magister Victor. I'm busy watching for clues, sorcerer. Go take your sob story somewhere else. Uh, okay, I just wanted to say hi. Uh, we'll say hi to Ifan then. A scruffy man lounges against the wall with scarred arms folded. A sly smile playing on his face, he stares across at the Magister guarding him. Noticing you, he straightens and beckons for you to come closer. Okay. Watch your back, new fish. There's a murderer on board, and I bet three months' pay it's this trampy fan. Oh my days. Okay. Rolling his eyes at the Magister's warning, the man named Ifan beckons again. He's waving at us. Um, ooh. Uh, move closer to him, or move closer, but clench your fists in case things go south. Uh, let's go with that one. He leans in and adjusts your collar with a sharp tug, balancing its weight so it no longer presses unpleasantly on your neck. He winks. Oh, that's very nice. Pinches less that way, right? Hocking a phlegmy gobbit in your general direction, the sullen magister settles back to his task of glowering at Ifan. And now, you. Uh-oh. Ask Ifan why the Ifan, Ifan, why the magister suspects him of murder. It doesn't seem like the optimal part of the ship to hang around and take your leave. No, no. Uh, let's speak to him. I wish you could thank him for adjusting the uh, the collar. Or should we thank him for that, actually? Um, let's ask Ifan why the magister suspects him of murder. We used to know each other, more's the pity. I was his commander many, many, many moons ago. Isn't that right, Vic? Standing far back from Ifan, the tight-faced magister draws one finger across his throat in an elaborate fashion, but says nothing. Okay. Ifan grins, flashing pointed white teeth. Points at white teeth? Okay, okay. Same as he was at 14 years old. Only difference is, somebody gave him a bigger sword, and now he's Johnny Big Pants. <laughs> Ask Ifan what he did to find himself at the mercy of a subordinate. Say that you're still curious about the murder. Did he do it? I'll quietly back away. Um, let's go with number one here. Long story. Maybe I'll tell you about it in the joy. Away from interested parties. Okay, okay, I like his voice. Um, say that you're still curious about the murder. Did he do it? No. Okay. The dead man, Finn, is it? I'd no business with him. And I wouldn't put a man down without good reason. Okay, fair enough. He glances over at Magister Victor, who's staring back at him with pointed intensity. Damn shame sheer annoyance isn't reason enough. <laughs> okay. Ask Ifan if he knows anything about where you're headed for Joy. The Joy? I've heard a lot. Nothing good. No surprise there, since Bishop Alexander runs the show. Again, we know that that's who he's trying to target. Wonder if we'll get to meet the Ringmaster himself. Okay. Uh, say you'd like to meet Alexander, you'd show him exactly what you think of his bloody divine order. Tell Ifan that's one acquaintance you're not eager to make. Say you've no interest in Alexander, all you care about is surviving for Joy. Um... I don't know much about the Divine Order yet, so I can't genuinely say that I mean number one. So maybe we go with number two, or maybe number three, because we do want to survive, don't we? Let's go with number three here. Not interested in the son of the Divine himself. <laughs> I don't blame you one bit, but Vic here will blow a blood vessel if he hears you talking like that. Oh, okay. What are you conspiring about over there? You, Elf, what's your name? Oh boy. Oh, don't mind him. Vic's just got a bee in his bonnet. And that bee is me. Oh, okay. Name! Oh. Uh, tell him your name. Say that it's Gil. Who the heck's Gil? Refuse to give him your name. Or the jester option. Tell him your name is Victor. <laughs> That's right. V-I-K-T-A-R Victor. Oh, I kind of want to go. Is that going to start a fight? I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll go for it anyway, because it's hilarious. Magister Victor looks at you suspiciously, then scrawls something illegible down in a tiny notebook. He scowls at you as he stows the notebook back in his voluminous robes. Okay. Away with you, at once. 
If Anne performs an elaborate pantomime of keeping quiet, one finger in front of his lips as he leans back against the wall. Oh. I don't know what that means, but okay. Do we get to speak with them again? What? Didn't make it clear the first time. Scram. Okay. And Ifan? Ifan raises his eyebrows, but shakes his head at your attempts to communicate, glancing sideways at the angry face of Magister Victor. Okay. Uh, well, well, well. Never thought you'd end up a prison guard, Vic. This is a greasy right. door. I always knew you'd and it's locked. Fair based. enough. Okay, let's Your go down here. We have... Oh, can we speak to this uh, doggo? Doggo, come back. You! Sorcerer! Blood? No! Go! <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the Magister Jalen. Name? Name, okay. Uh, ask him who wants to know. You can tell him our name, or sigh dreamily and ask him what's in a name anyway. I'll take your leave. I love these jester answers. I'm gonna go for that one. I don't like comedy. Oh my, okay. Well, ask him who wants to know then. The Divine Order wants to know. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Do I want to tell him my name? Tell... Uh, I... We'll take our leave. Not so fast. Name? We can't. Oh no. Okay, well... Okay, we'll give him our name then. Well, you aren't here on my list. Scram, eh? We're trying to catch a killer here. Oh, but who is the one on the list though? I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help the investigation. Like I said, you aren't on the list. Okay. Um. Let's let's speak to Namia. I spent my life singing for my slaves to bring me my supper. Finer fare than boiled roots and rotten tubers too. Meanwhile, the magisters feast on honeyed meat behind this very wall. <gasps> The indignity. <laughs> She's very posh. Okay. Well, who we are, this. what we've done, they mean less than nothing as long as these collars choke us. Okay. Right over the side Damn. Of the ship with okay. It. Let's look in this sack. Nothing. A uh, basket. Nothing. Ooh, money. I'll take that. Bottle of beer. A mug of beer. I'm trying to concentrate. Uh, okay. Then we have the red. Prince, let's speak to him. Well, well, what have we here? A fresh face in this stale hell. Let's size you up, shall we? See if you'll do. Okay. The lizard looks you up and down, like a farmer would a fetching horse. All of a sudden, he grips you firmly by the chin, oh. with the intent of inspecting your teeth. Oh my, um, humor him, let's see where this leads. Mumble through clenched jaws, what on earth is he doing? The nerve, slap his hand away, hard. Uh, the, I don't want to slap him, let's mumble through our clenched jaws. I'm inspecting your teeth, in case that wasn't spectacularly obvious. But why? Hmm, there's some discoloration, but I've seen worse. After all, one can't expect to find prime merchandise on a squalid little ship like this. Now then, to business. You will answer me three questions. The first one is this. Can you cook? Uh, okay. Uh, not. Tell him you're quite the wizard in the kitchen, a true chef. Laugh and say you can hardly tell a turkey from a turnip. And all I can tell him you're not answering his damn questions and take your leave. Uh, no. Let's go with... I can hardly tell a turkey from a turnip. Oh, goodness, no. And don't even mention the demon's testes that are turnips. What? <laughs> Wait, what? On to the second question. Oh. Can you knit, weave? In short, a uh, tailor? A tailor. Um, most certainly, tell him given a sheet of satin, you can make a bum look like a baron. Stick a thumb through one of the holes in your garb and say these provide cool in the summer. <laughs> and then we can, uh, he can stop his question. No, no, let's continue this. Um, I'm going to go at number two here. Yes, I can tell from your vagabond chic, a bag is as good as a shirt kind of style. I shouldn't be getting my hopes up. You're wearing rags too, sir. On then to my final query. Have you the ability to administer the upkeep of one's personal appearance? The delicate art of cosmetics is what I'm after. 
Okay. So you most certainly have personal pride. You're no stranger to combs, powders, and perfumes. Rubbing your chin, tell him you're trying to recall the last time you bathed. What month is this? <laughs> you tie up this game and tell him to bugger off. Oh no. Um, well, let's go at number two again. Just as I thought. That explains what's besieging my nostrils. <laughs> You're the one who grabbed my face. So, three questions asked, three questions answered. Let's evaluate, shall we? You're evaluating me, okay. As per your own testimony, you have the taste buds of a dung beetle, the fashion sense of a monkey in a clown suit, and your personal hygiene reminds one of a carcass rotting in the sun. Oh my days. Okay, that is a little bit... Uh, you've taken it a little bit far, sir, from what I've said, <laughs> but okay. That won't do at all, see? I'm sad to say I must deny you the opportunity to be my slave. Ever so sorry. Oh... To be your slave. Well, you know, I'm glad that I <laughs> won't be your slave. Um, assume a sad face and tell him you're mightily disappointed. Stare at him blankly. He was looking for you to be his what now? Tell him you've half a mind to punch him in the face. Oh my. Um, let's stare at him blankly and go, he was looking for you to be his what now? My slave, of course. Oh, oh but I see. Yes. I suppose it must take some time for the full extent of my disheartening refusal to sink in. Okay. Still, hone your skills, and one day you may just qualify for a position in a lesser household than mine. You keep dreaming, you hear? <laughs> okay. Right, so I think these the, the lizards are slavers or something, aren't they? Let's see. Uh, I, yeah, I think they are. No, please don't come begging me. I told you. You can't be my slave, and that's final. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for the evaluation, I suppose. The part I uh, there's Beast, you you and there's Gil. Okay, so this person is Gil. Did we Mine. want to impersonate him or something? Sufferable. Surely. Did you see the body? They ought to let you taste a bit. Maybe you'd find out who done it. Yeah, that's what I was saying, Gil. Okay, Gil's got, like, the right idea uh let's take out all this beer sorry lads you're done drinking aren't you okay let's speak to beast a broad dwarf sits totally upright on the bench eyes closed palms face up on his knees his beard is a cascade of meticulous plaits each one braided through with golden medallions he raises an eyebrow as you approach but doesn't open his eyes listen up boy you hear that Okay, uh, boy, tell him he ought to think twi twice before addressing you like a child. Ask what you're meant to be hearing. Wave his request away and ask him what he knows about the murder on board. Um, let's ask what we're meant to be hearing. The ship, of course. Okay, uh, let's quieten and listen to the sounds of the ship. The rest are the same, let's do that. A wave of sound washes over you. The unintelligible chatter of your shipmates. The groaning of wood from floor to ceiling. The boom, crash, and crackle of waves around you. Complaints from the sea itself. Oh, okay. And? And, okay. Uh, tell him the ship is moaning like a sick man. <laughs> Say the sea sounds angry, like it's trying to capsize the ship. Remark that your shipmates are as chatty as gulls. You can barely, over you can barely hear over the din. Or tell him you don't hear anything unusual. I mean, it's nothing unusual, but I suppose the ocean is a bit angry. Let's go with that. The fellow cocks his ear, listening. That isn't anger. It's... Oh? He cocks his ear to the other side, then smiles. Okay. Anticipation. She senses something. I'd hold on to my breeches if I were you, mate. Okay. That's all you hear, though. Listen close. Okay. So we can close our eyes and try not to let the ambient sounds on the ship fade away. Uh, ask him exactly what he's supposed to be listening for again. Let's do the, uh, let's listen again. Let's go with number one here. There now, just like that. Uh -huh. Squeak! <laughs> the narrator did that, okay. Aha! His eyes snap open as his countenance breaks into an expression of joy. One great paw claps you on the back. The other catches you before you lose your footing. There. You heard that, didn't you? I knew it. I knew it. Aye, this is good news, boy. Good news. 
Okay, the squeak, I'm guessing he's uh, referring to. Ask what got him so excited. There was That was nothing more than a rat. Nod, you heard it. What's it supposed to be? Decide to leave him to his soundscape and take your leave. No, um... We'll say we heard it. What is it supposed to be? It's the wheel. The wheel. Don't you see, you beautiful idiot? <laughs> Squeaks whenever the helmsman jerks it clockwise, which means we are heading east. Okay. Burn my beard. That means if we've been traveling for... Yes, only 10.34 nautical miles to Fort Joy. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> tell him he shouldn't talk like that about such a magnificent beard. His beard is magnificent. Um, ask why he's so excited about reaching Fort Joy. You haven't heard anything good about the place. Note he must be a practiced sailor. Ask what the figure means to him. Ooh. I think we'll, we'll, we'll say, tell him he shouldn't talk about such a magni uh, talk like that about such a magnificent beard. Ah, so you have eyes as well as ears, eh? You'll go far, mate. Even here. Okay, that's nice. Um, let's ask him what the figure means to him. 10.34, he said? Captain, actually. Oh. And that figure tells me we're getting close to the joy. Close to what lies beyond it, too. The dwarf leans back from the table and strokes his beard, gold medallions jingling merrily. His eyes roll over to you. That'll be all. Thank you kindly, boy. What? That's all? Um, cock an eyebrow. If he's hatching an escape plan, you want in. Is he hatching an escape plan? Say nothing, but look him over once before leaving. You may want to find him again inside Fort Joy. Um, let's talk about the escape plan. He continues stroking his beard, a beatific smile on his lips, and doesn't acknowledge you anymore. Oh, okay. Oh, that's that. Uh, can we speak to you again? If you'll be pardoning me, I'll be much obliged. Okay. Okay, we can only speak to them once, that's really, enough. truly. Uh, okay, hello, Fane. You're an interesting character. The elf is reading a volume of Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia. He looks up, his big round eyes scanning your body, absorbing every detail. Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia, okay. He reaches out and examines your face, tugging at your ears and <laughs> prodding your nose. <laughs> Why is everyone just touching my face? Fascinating. Oh, okay, so he's got like an elf disguise on. He sits back and returns to his book, flicking quickly from page to page, completely oblivious to your presence. Well, he didn't grab my face. Um, stare at him in shock and ask what the hell he thinks he's doing. Right. Ask whether the book, the book he's reading is any good. He seems engrossed in it. Ask who you're speaking to. Reach over and ruffle his hair with a grin. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Um, let's ask who we're speaking to. Ah, yes. The niceties. My name is Fane. I am a scholar from... Well, I am a seeker of knowledge. That is enough. It is pleasurable to meet you. Okay. Um, ask what exactly he's seeking. There is a lot of knowledge in the world, true. Nod towards his book. Has he found much knowledge in there? Wish him well on his travels and take your leave. Um, let's go with... There is a lot of knowledge in the world. Is there? Wherever do you keep it? Certainly not in your books. I have been reading this one for several minutes and I have yet to find a single insight into the mysteries of the universe. <laughs> That's a tall order from a book, mate. It is simultaneously too detailed and insufficient. I know the beginning of this tale and the end, but I am rather missing the middle. Tell me, what do you know of your... our world's history? Oh. Um, tell him about the war between the Divine Order and the Black Ring. It dwarfed everything that went before. Or say memories of the past are precious to your people. At least they were until your homelands were destroyed. Ooh. Um, let's go with the elf answer, I guess. Or... Our world's history. Mm. Yeah, let's go with the elf answer here. Oh, please. I have no interest in that. Your books are too full of it already. Well, okay, I mean, you asked. No, I want to know about the Celestial. I want to know about your gods. Oh, I'm afraid I don't know anything about that, I don't think. 
This text tells me that they created all creatures, but nothing of what came before. Okay. Where did these gods come from? Who are their people? Where are the others of their kind? Um, admit that some things just aren't known. Look at him incredulously. The gods are forces of nature. They don't have a history. Ask why he's so curious about the gods. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Number three. The elf's face freezes for just a second before he waves his hand dismissively. Oh, it's just one of my idle curiosities. We mortals do like to consider these things, do we not? Uh-huh. Now please, run along. I have a world to decipher. Um, okay, so we can insist why he was so curious about the gods, or we can take our leave. Let's insist and see what happens. No amount of pestering will get the elf to take his eyes off his book or respond to your questions. Okay, well, farewell then. Do you mind? I'm really rather busy. Okay, Finn, goodbye. Uh, let's speak to Loza. And then we can... I think that's everyone, actually. Uh, hello, Loza. Ah, oh, there you are. <clears throat> Husband. Oh. Would you please tell this very charming gaggle of not at all brat like babes that I am by no accounts this loser woman, nor do I sing, in fact. I'm deathly, deathly allergical. <laughs> okay, so it's loser, sorry. Um, play along and take her arm with a grin. Tell the children they must be mistaken. Uh, squint at the lot of them, who's Losa? Say, she must have you confused with someone else, right? Look at the pastel of dirty kids and say they seem well enough like brats to you. Oh no, that's so mean. Um, let's play along with her. Let's go with number one here. How very correct you are, spouse of mine. Madam Josephine Gribbles de Peeb refuses to be confused with anyone else. <laughs> Gribbles de Peeb. What? What's so funny? Her pinched face cracks into a great grin, and she shoos the children away from her with a laugh. Okay. Yeah, okay, you found me out. Go on and git, and maybe I'll sing you something when I'm good and ready. She turns to you, dark-eyed and dirty-haired, and smiles flatly. Gotta keep ourselves entertained, haven't we? Mmm, say that's fair, that's true enough. Um, shake her hand, low so you presume. Ask if she couldn't find some more age-appropriate companions. So you're more concerned with survival than entertainment. No, no. Um, let's shake her hand and introduce ourselves. You presume right. Okay. Ask if she knows anything about the murder that happened on board. Tell her she ought to have a look around with you. You can watch each other's backs. I'll take your leave. Ooh, can we ask her to join us? Let's ask her that. Thanks, but I already belong to an elite and exclusive ship gang. We play ball every day after lunch. You're too soft for it. Uh, excuse you? You take care, though. Uh, we just met. How do you know? Okay, let's ask her if she knows anything about the murder. Nope. Trying not to find anything out, either. Ignorance is bliss. The utterer, the better. Okay, if you say so. Suddenly, her eyes cloud to an unnatural black. Oh. Greyish veins run down her face, and her mouth tightens into a cruel sneer. As quickly as they came, the clouds clear. She smiles as though no change came over her. Good luck, Chief. Okay, okay, okay. Take it easy, Chief. You don't want to get noticed for the wrong reason. Sure. What about the kids' price? Hmm. You look a little bit elfish. Maybe your daddy was an elf. My daddy's name is Frida. He's waiting for me at home. I'll go home soon. Okay. Why, well, I can't believe they're capturing children as well. Sandy. Do you know Losa? She's a really good singer. I'm better though. Listen. La 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 la. Sure. Um, and Polly. My mum doesn't like elves. But I have a secret. When I grow up. I'm going to be an elf. She'll get used to it. <laughs> okay. Oh, bless. Okay, they're kind of cute, the kids. Okay, let's look in this crate. Nothing. Uh, let's see if we can offer to, like, eat the corpse with the Magister here. So, anything interesting for me? Uh, ask her to define interesting. I'll tell you still looking around. Yes, let's define interesting, please. I'll take that as a no. 
Oh. Okay. I was just trying to make conversation. So, anything interesting for me? Uh, what happens if we tell her we're still looking around? Right. Tick tock. Okay. Well, um, I think we've actually spoken to everyone. Oh, we didn't search these. Oh, nice. What did we get? That is... Oh, lemonade! Oh, I love that. Okay, okay, okay. I like a good lemonade. Can't complain there. Uh, oh, there's a greasy key for a greasy door, I think. Very good. Uh, okay. Very nice. And we have garlic. We'll take the garlic. Uh, look in this basket. Nothing. The shelf. Nothing. Oh, look at the little wobble animation from the sex. Uh, that's funny. Oh, what did I just pick up? Some gold, I think. Okay, okay. This is a restoration scroll. Restore vitality of a target character. Restoration also cures poison, bleeding, whatnot. Okay, there's something happening in that room. Items such as scrolls, grenades, and special arrows are automatically added to your hotbar on pickup. Drag other items or skills to your hotbar for easy access. Understood. Okay. Um, washing tub. Oh my days, that must be heavy. 20. Yeah, I don't need a washing tub, I don't think. Uh, ooh, minor healing potion. We'll pick that. And let's pick up all the food here. Mashed potatoes. Cooking pot. Small poison bottle. 53 to 59 poison. That's pretty good. Just keeping it in the kitchen, huh? Pocket knife. Okay. Journal. Uh, a mug of wine. And I don't think I need the cooking pots. Ooh, what's this? This again? Six new recipes learned. Ooh. What have we got then? How do we go to crafting? Crafting, crafting, crafting. G. Recipes. Uh, food. Okay, so we have boiled potato, cold mashed potatoes. What is this? Any hammer. Okay, we have mashed potatoes. Oh, we need a boiling pot. Okay. And we have oven. Okay. Or another boiling pot. And uh, we need a boiled potato or any milk. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. That's not a boiling pot though, is it? That's a cooking pot. So maybe not the thing we need. We also picked up a new weapon, the pocket knife. Um, let's go with this. Yes. Okay, so we have two weapons now. With 150% critical damage and we can backstab with it. Very nice. And a journal. This tome contains no text. Instead, sketches of dragons fill every page. The artist is hardly talented, but clearly enthusiastic. Oh, can't harm that. Can't, can't, um, can't knock on that, really. Okay. Um, I think I've looted everything that I can. Let's speak to this, uh, magister here. It's a register, sir. Good, good. Magister Williams is just about done with the last passenger. Okay. You fair and okay so far? Tell him you're fine. So you've been through worse. Ask if he actually cares. Ask if he'd be fine, collared like a dog, and stuck in a ship's hold with a corpse and a murderer on the loose. Oh my. Um. He seems nice. He's asking if, if we're okay. Um. But does he actually care? Yeah, ask if he actually cares. Of course I do. Seems void woken dog your heels like a shadow. That's no way to live, is it? Oh, he's nice. You'll see. We're gonna help you. Or not. Or maybe he's very indoctrinated. You mm. head on in now. Williams will get you short at fast. Sure. Okay. Take care of yourself now. Okay. Well, you know, he might be indoctrinated, but at least he's friendly. Uh, okay. Where is Yona, William... Windigo. Hemwa. Oh, Hemwa. Hello, Hemwa. You made your way here. Oh, I'm strong keep with those bolts trained on her. And if she's standing at the center oh. of the room, you spot a sorcerer haughtily eyeing a pair of nervous looking magisters. They keep their crossbow trained upon her as she's being interrogated by an officer. Okay. So you admit it then? You murdered that poor fella? Yes, I did. Oh. But of course, that was only the beginning. She turns her head and looks you straight in the eye. 
Oh. There are others whose lives must end. Uh-oh. Good God! The woman's mad! You there, sorcerer! Go and fetch Magister Siwan! We need to do more than collar this maniac. We need to shackle her hands and feet. Okay, uh, say yes sir and turn to leave. This murderer must be brought to justice. This may be the perfect opportunity to create a mutiny. Tell the woman you stand by her. Address the sorcerer and ask her what she meant by there are others whose lives must end. Yeah, I want to ask about that. It means your journey draws to a close. Do stick around for its finale though, because... Oh. She reaches for her collar and simply removes it. Oh. I'm just about to create a scene. Oh boy. Subdue her, man, quickly! If she casts source, the Void Woken will come. They'll end us all. She smiles with wicked satisfaction. Precisely. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, okay. She's got like a ton of health, 200. Source Blast. Oh no! Oh my days. Oh no, Hemwa is like a pile of meat. Oh no, what's, are we... What's oh. happened? Hold left alt to highlight objects that can be picked up. Uh, well, mine is left control. But, oh my days, Hemwa is uh, very much dead. There's a ton of stuff in this room. Oh my days. Um, uh, oh no, Magister Paid! He's also a pile of mush. Ooh, but he's got a key to the stern room. Okay, that's the key for this room. Oh no! Oh no! Everyone's... Is everyone dead? Okay, no, they're knocked out. They're knocked down. Okay. Um, let's loot. Let's loot. Because <laughs> that's important. Uh, a note. Requisition. Requisition. Ink, pot, and quill. I don't know what that's for. For selling, I suppose. Uh, okay, let's read this. A note. A few of them are in good spirits, especially the children. The others are sullen. Don't blame them, change is rough. But they'll make new friends sooner or later, and when we cure them for good, they'll be thanking us, not cursing. Well, most of them. The elf with the dice, that lone wolf, the creaky-voiced woman in the kitchen. Some folks won't get over it. Reckon they won't be the first to get cured if they're ever cured at all. Oh, okay, so it's specifically Sibyl and uh, Ifan. And that old lady that just blew up. Um, we have a requisition here. Sorcerer hold, pumpkin seed flower, sunflower flower, turnips, cabbages, human ale. Oh, okay. And another requisition. It's the same thing. Okay. That's fine. Can we pick up these cards? No, we can't. Uh, ooh, a red snapper. We'll take that. Bottle of wine. Ham. Uh, we don't need the empty cup, I think. Another bottle of wine. Chubfish. Uh, more wine. Cheese bread. It'll go straight to your thighs, but it's worth every dimple. Oh my days. Pumpkin soup. Another bottle of wine. Oh my days. So much loot. Oh. Chest with confiscated goods. Ooh. Ooh. Getting armed. Oh my days. I have to catch up with my journal. Improvised wand. Improvised staff. Or a makeshift club. Grand skill all in. Can I... Um... I can't pin the thing. Anyway, we'll take all. All good. Two new recipes learnt. H, okay. Uh, a makeshift club. We need all these things. Alright. Um, hang on, let me check my journal here. Uh, troubled waters. Getting, um... Okay, wait, hang on. Confessing to the murder, the sorcerer Windigo implied that we had something in common with her victim. She triggered an explosion and escaped. Okay, okay. Um... Hang on, we're aboard the Merryweather on our way to Sorcerer Colony of Fort Joy. We're told there's a murderer on board with us. Um, okay. Did we read this? Alexander's advisor Dallas noticed the Void Woken are attracted to Source. Alexander quarantined the Sorceress. The Divine Sacrifice did not buy peace. The rise of the Void Woken brought the world death destruction. We have read that, okay. Getting armed. We armed ourselves with some basic weapons. It's not safe here, we should arm ourselves, yep. And a sorceress slipped her sauce collar and triggered a huge, huge explosion. We have to escape. Yes. Okay. Um, right. Let's do that then. Exactly that. Uh, display case. Nothing. Okay. Hemwa, what did you have? Nothing. Magister 
uh, Igret. We have some stuff here. Magister William. We didn't even get to meet him. And Magister Yona. Thank you for the stuff, everyone. Um, let's grab our club. Is this one-handed? Scales with strength. When you really need to hammer a point home repeatedly, yes. Looks like little Tommy Terror lost his apple knife. Okay, okay, we have the pocket knife. Can we do one club and one knife? No, we can't. Okay, how much damage is this? Six to seven physical. This is three to four. So if we have both of these, we should have six to eight, no? And this is intelligence. Oh, but the dagger scale with finesse. And these scale with intelligence. And these have um, damage. Maybe we should go with the club. We'll go with the club. New skill, all in. Okay, let's go for the skills. Uh, okay, all in. We'll put that here. Perfect. And... Okay, that's that. I still don't know what, how to get the... Um, I deleted that button by accident and I don't know how to get it back. Um, I'll, I'll look it up later, I suppose. Um, let's look in this display case. Nothing. A bottle of wine. We'll take the bottle of wine. And this display case has nothing as well. Don't we have the key to this? I thought we did. Well, well. Okay. Um, let's go see if we can help anyone. Fane is gone. Okay. Namiya died. Oh no! I take that money though. Uh, Red oh, Prince. Oh. What? What happened? Uh, must have been the turnips. <laughs> Grab a nearby cup and throw some water in his face, or slap him in the face. He needs to get up now. Uh, let's splash some water first. Water? Wine, for goodness sake! Oh. <laughs> the lizard's eyes close as he slips into unconsciousness. Oh no! Can we not? You shake the lizard by the shoulders, but you're unable to wake him up. Okay, well, okay. Uh, Ifan, maybe? Ifan lies motionless, curled on the ground like an animal. Under his shaggy hair, you can see green eyes fluttering as if in a nightmare. A low whine escapes his lips. Okay, let's shake him and try to wake him up. His eyes flicker open, but he doesn't register your presence at all. Oh. Lucian. Lucian. Ivan cries out, then his eyes fall closed again. No matter how much you shake him now, he cannot be roused. Okay, well, that's that then. Ooh, Magister Victor's gone. He did, couldn't find his notebook, sadly. Uh, Sibyl? No, not the final dark. Not yet. Okay, uh, reassure her you'll get her out of here if you can, or take her by the hand and tell her to get up. I don't think that any of them are going to get up, but we're going to try anyway. Her hand lies limp in yours. She's too weak to stand. Oh, that's not good. The dice roll darkly. They're rolling for me. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. Okay. Um, a beast? The dwarf lies in a heap on the floor. His great beard twisted and tangled around him. He is stock still. You can't see if he's living or dead. Uh-oh. Hold your hand to his chest, listening for a heartbeat. Call to him, is he alright? Uh, let's listen for a heartbeat here. You hear a faint thud, thud, thud. He's alive, but only just. Oh, that's not good. They're all not in a good state, are they? Um... Bedroll. Do we need a bedroll? Use this to rest when there are no enemies nearby. Oh, maybe we do want a bedroll. You've picked up a bedroll. Use it to rest and heal your party. Oh! Oh, we do want... Maybe we do want a bedroll. It's not very heavy, is it? Can we put the bedroll in our... Yes, we can. Oh, maybe we should have been picking them. Did we see any more bedrolls? I feel like that was the only one we may have seen. Uh, Magister. And the Hound Life Essence. A single spark hovers de delicately within this iridescent enchanted orb. Um, I'm sorry, doggo. And Magister Jalen. You don't need that money no more. We'll take that off you. Uh, f yeah, Fane's still gone, and we have Losa. The kids the are gone. The young woman lies in a heap on the floor. She's breathing normally, but her eyes are wide open, like those of a corpse. Dark, oh. greyish black clouds swirl through them. Oh, shake her shoulder, call to her, wake up. 
Continue searching the ship. Let's shake her shoulder. <sighs> no, no, no. Okay. No, no, no to you too, I suppose. Uh, okay, Gil is gone as well. That's interesting. Oh, there's a bedroll there. I will take this. And a sheep. Oh my, was that sheep here? I didn't even notice. Oh, well, we got a mutton now. I didn't even notice if there was a sheep there. Oh my days, all the everyone's dead. Morel. Okay, we'll take that. And then waters. Okay. Ooh, this is not stealing anymore. Chunk of flesh. Found limb. Elves can eat limbs to experience the memories of the person that that limb once belonged to. Oh, okay. So we have to find a limb. Okay, let's uh, double click. As the dead man's flesh slides down your throat, you feel his consciousness enter yours. His memories are yours to experience. You are Finn. Ooh, okay. Your heart is heavy. You know too much. It's all too much. You met. You met him. A bright light blinds you, then fades. You feel a tremendous power in your hands, but they are shaking so hard you can barely use them. Suddenly you're on this very ship, crouched in a corner, hugging your knees. A figure approaches, an older woman. Her eyes are kind. She comes closer. She says she wants to talk. Ooh, it must be that lady then. She reaches a hand toward you. You grasp it. The memories end. You are no longer Finn. You return to yourself with a jolt. Oh, she just killed him with a touch. You learn the new skill. Press K to open your skill panel. Adrenaline. Gain two action points immediately, but lose two action points next turn. Any action points over your maximum are lost. Not memorized, can only be cast in combat. Requires Scoundrel 1. I don't think I have Scoundrel 1. Uh, and I think we can not worry about learning that one then. Um, broken sauce collar, we'll take it, why not? And, ooh, Magister Suen's down as well. The Magister lies on the floor, unconscious and bleeding from a dire-looking wound. Oh, that is not good, okay. Uh, well, sorry, Suen. The hatch is blocked. I need to find another way. Uh, okay. Is this where we need to go? Oh, that's where we need to go. Uh, what is this? This is a hatch. Okay. Oh, is the sheep downstairs still alive? Or did they also get caught up in the explosion? Let's go look. Otherwise, I don't think there's anything else downstairs, to be fair. Okay, okay. Oh, yes, no, they died. Okay. Everything is dead. Okay, the explosion was like no joke. It just annihilated anything that was like living, essentially. Okay, uh, well, let's go back upstairs then. I think we looted everything on here, so... Should be fine. Um, we actually do need one more bedroll, but... I think... Let me open up this. We have, yeah, we need one more uh, bedroll. So, there is that. Can't go up here. Oh, we need to go to the other end. Oh no, Losa is like getting drenched. Should be fine. Should be fine. I think. I hope. Okay. I don't know. Let's go upstairs and see what's up there. I think we've looted everything we can. Oh, there's a doggo. Troubled waters. Okay. Uh, we made it to the middle deck. The ship is badly damaged. We have to keep moving. Okay. Let's uh, talk to the doggo here. Doggo! The hound paws desperately at its snout. It winces as it draws blood from its wet black nose and continues scratching. Oh, uh, shout to the dog. It has to get out of here. The ship is going to sink. Call out to the hound and ask it what's the matter. Um, um, it's going to sink. Call out. Let's ask the dog what's the matter, actually. The dog notices you for the first time and snarls. The hairs on its back prickling as it lowers itself into a lunge. Uh-oh. Sorcerer! Don't fight me, doggo. It sneezes suddenly and paws at its nose once more. Okay. Can't smell. Can't breathe. Too much sauce. Too much. Too much. Oh, okay. Please, make it stop. Oh, no. 
Okay, tell the dog you're not the one who did this. You'd stop it if you could. Ask the dog if its job isn't to hunt sorcerers. Tell it to go find the one who did this. The ship isn't going to last much longer. Decide if it's best to put the dog out of his misery. No, 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 no. Um, you'd stop it if you could. No, no. The dog whines and continues pawing at its nose. Oh, no. You need to get out of here, doggo. Oh no. Okay. Well. Not long before this thing snaps Ooh. into splinters. Tongs and a poison arrow. We'll take all that. You found a special arrow. These arrows have magical properties and can be used by anyone carrying a bow or a crossbow. Understood. Uh, you've learned a new skill. What new skill? I have. I already did that. I can't use it. Sorry, doggo. I tried to save you, ish. Maybe we should have gone for the other one. Oh. Onwards and upwards. Uh, attack the door, yes. Okay, fine. They want us to equip this. I'll equip it, but I can't use it. Okay, let's destroy this door. Are there people in there? Oh no, Magister Rix and Magister Murtop. Magister Rix is not having a good day, uh, which is fair enough. Hello? Thank oh. God. By divine grace, who was that howling? It was the dog. He eyes the collar circling your neck and reaches a hand towards his blade. Uh-oh. Another sorcerer! Um, motion to the destruction around you. What's going on here? What has he seen? Finger your collar. You can help him if he can get this stupid device off of you. Or adjust the wave your hands in the air and chant some nonsense. He better not mess with you. No, no. Draw your weapon and be done with him. Um, let's see if he can get this off us. Even if I knew how to rip that thing off, I wouldn't. Some crazy banshee comes screaming through, and now we got void bugs swarming up top. Saw it coming, I did. Sorcerer mutiny. Oh my. Um, okay, so we have the strength persuasion. Uh, that's snarl, and that's right, there's a mutiny. And if he wants to see his family again, he'll stand down. Or tell him there's no mutiny, you almost died at this woman's hand. Um, ask more about this woman. Is he sure she's a sorcerer? I'm pretty sure we all know she's a sorcerer now. Roll your eyes at this weakling and attack. He should pose no threat. Um, let's go with the intelligence. But the last time we tried intelligence, it didn't work. So maybe we try the strength one. Snarl. It's not very nice, but we'll, we'll try it. Oh, persuasion failure. Persuasion one needed two. Okay, so... It doesn't matter which type of persuasion we pick, it's just the persuasion overall, okay. Your lies end here. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, um, sure. Uh, okay. All in. Perform a heavy attack that deals 9 to 10 physical damage. Oh, target too far. 3 AP just to move there. Fucking hell. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll move, I guess. Oh, we should move behind them. Is there no cone thing? Don't they have a cone thing? Backstab? Oh, I can't backstab. I've got a club. Well, uh, I can't attack either. Uh, let's see. Flesh sacrifice. Gain one extra point immediately and a 10% boost damage boost for two turns at the cost of negative one constitution. Any action points over your maximum are lost. Okay, let's try this. Flesh sacrifice. Oh, my days. Okay, well, we can... Also use the blood, I guess. Okay, Magister Rix, I'm sorry. <gasps> Wasn't trying to be mean. <laughs> Holy crap, you do a lot of damage. <laughs> oh my days. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay, let's take down Magister Rix, I think. <laughs> Very nice. And we healed a little. How much health we got? 16. Uh, let's do the blood sucker. Very nice. We're full health again. And oh, let's raise a bloated corpse. Let's see. Choose Magister Rix. Oh my days, it's like a globby. Oh my days, okay. Ooh, the corpse can vial burst. Bloated corpse explodes, dealing 11 to 13 physical damage to all characters around it. Death resisting effects cannot protect bloated corpse from destruction by this skill. Ooh. Instantly kills your target. Damage is based on your level and receives bonus from intelligence. Oh my days, okay. Um, wait, will I get hurt though? Will I take damage? 
Uh, let's go for Magister Murtoff here. Oh, do I take damage? Oh, my days. Oh, no, that was a mistake. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Why didn't he take any damage? Attack mode. Hold and click on the door. I, I, I did that. Oh, no. Okay, let's try Mosquito Swarm. We need to heal ourselves. Oh, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to... Uh, let's drink this just in case. Okay, 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 we're alive, we're surviving, and turn. Oh, he healed. Oh, did he? I'm not sure. Okay. Combat examine. Highlight an enemy, press middle mouse button and select examine. The higher your law master ability, the more you can learn about your target. Well, I do have law master. Um, he's bleeding. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's hit him, I guess. <laughs> Oh. He's got some... What's he got then? All in. Let's go for it. Okay, he's dead now. I don't know why he wasn't dying before. But, oh well. Uh, Magister Rix. Nothing in you. Okay, I don't know how the uh, bloated corpse thing works. Oh, we can use this again. Okay, so we don't have things like spell slots and stuff. Which is really cool. And so I'm really happy I picked a class with this uh, spell. Okay, let's loot this. We got a stained shirt and a short stick. Not as rotten as most of the other sticks around here. Useless to the untrained eye. Okay, maybe we can use that for crafting. We've got a, uh, a journal here. Let's see. The smeared ink makes the journal difficult to read, but you manage to make out much of the latest entry. Okay. Is there much of the latest entry? No, there isn't. That's fine. Uh, a letter. It's a cup of water. A shabby letter. Let's look at these shelves here. There's nothing. Bust of Alexander. That's 150 weight with zero gold. Doesn't. It's not worth anything. That's fine. Ooh, a resurrection scroll. That's really good. A painting. We'll take the painting. Destroyed painting. Were there any other paintings that we missed? No, there weren't. Okay. Um, a bound tome. Okay, we'll take the bound tome. Uh, where are we? Here. Use to read. Okay. The source hunters, valiant though they were, could not have foreseen Bracchus's resurrection at the hands of the cult of the Immaculate. We owe our very lives to two of the very order that... To two... Wait, we owe our very lives to two more of the very order that first fought to bring Bracchus Rex to justice. The Source King is dead, yet his monuments still dot the land, a chilling but necessary reminder of his legacy of cruelty, greed, and arrogance. Okay. Um, let's read this. One over... Sorry, I read that as once for some reason. Over many brutal decades, Bracchus's tyranny spread. His hunger for source and political power drove him to develop Hina's devices and magic heretofore unknown. He punished the living with death and the dead with undeath. Many attempted to stand up to him, wizards, philosophers, scholars, but it was the order of the source hunters that ultimately forced Bracchus Rex to atone for his sins. Okay... Let's read this. Sorcerer monarchs once performed great deeds across the lands, and in his first days, Bracchus did so from the isle he called home. But in time, as is true of so many things, he became increasingly corrupted by source. So great was his, gre was his, was his greed that his fear that crafted a soul forge with his twin, Cassandra. Once the ritual was complete, Bracchus turned her into an undead lich, so that she and thus he might live forever. Ooh... Okay, Bracchus. Do I have a key for this? No, but I can hit the door. Alright. We're good. Okay. Anything here? A gold cup. We'll take that. And a painting. Sorry, my character inventory, I just realized, was still open. Um, a door here. God damn it! Need to get off this wreck and quick! Uh, yes, yes, don't worry. Don't freak out, sir. Can we do that? Does that work? Yes, it does! Okay, cool. Okay, so there's like a room here. A lot of dead people. Um, but we'll loot. Magister... What are you? Ranger. Ooh, a sharp piece of metal. And a bow! Ooh, we can... Can we equip that at the same time? 
Oh, no, we can't. Okay, okay. Limited, um... More limited with the uh, weapon slots. That's fine. Understandable. Oh, why are the bedrolls showing up here, though? Okay, no, no. This is fine. Let me put my uh, rucksack. No, I didn't want to do that. Okay, rucksack here. Um, I can't use this or that. It's okay. We'll put that away. And let's loot this barrel. Nothing. A chest, though. Uh, we'll take that. And let's move this. Oh, we still burned. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we stopped burning. Priest Medowin. Ooh, who's that? It's Fane! Okay. Skull marked key. This enigmatic key is stamped with a white skull. The magister symbol for death fog. Okay. Uh, used to read. Let's read this. Murtoff, death fog barrels have been, have been locked down in storage. Stay out, you and Ricks both. If anyone starts fooling around down there, it will be lights out, Captain Calvin. Okay, so death fog doesn't sound good. Fane, you're awake and alive! You pass through the door and are suddenly face to face with an undead. His skull is bizarrely angular and a glorious jewel sits in the middle of his forehead. The skeleton is quickly leafing through a volume of Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia, muttering to himself. No, no, no! What damn fools record knowledge on a pulped tree? It catches fire, it turns into must when wet, it cannot even resist acid! No wonder they're so bloody ignorant. Well, what kind of books would you have, Fane? The skeleton looks up and notices you for the first time. Okay. Uh, hang on, let me get a camera in here. I can't move, hey? Oh, it's you. Shouldn't you be running and screaming or some such? Huh. Um, there's something familiar about the way he holds that book. Grab whatever is close at hand and move to attack the undead monster. I suppose that's the normal reaction we should be having. Ask if he shouldn't be doing the same. The ship is going down. Um, let's acknowledge that we recognize him. There's something familiar about the way he holds that book. The skeleton groans and looks back to his book, frantically flipping from page to page. Okay. Yes, indeed. It's the look of someone that wants to read the bloody book he's holding. <laughs> okay, Fane. Now, if you're really quite finished, I believe you have lifeboats to flee to. Okay, that's it. The elf. He's the elf that was reading the book. And he doesn't. Ask if he's just going to go down with the ship. Ask why you didn't see him before. He kind of stands out. Snap that at least you're doing something. He could be saving lives instead of just reading. He's right. The ship is going down. You don't have time for chit-chat. No. Um, let's go ask why we didn't see him before. He kind of stands out. I guess. Or do we... Uh, no, 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 no. We want to... We know he's the elf. The elf that was reading the book. Please, I was no more an elf than you are those rags you're wearing. Oh. I had a mask, rather ingeniously designed, which allowed me to take that primitive form. A mask that was stolen by that damned witch after her little scene. Oh. Still, she'll drown with the rest of these fools, and I will simply pluck my mask from her cold, dead hands. <laughs> That's heartless. He could be saving people right now. Nod, that seems quite sensible. Don't have any time for this. Take your leave. Well, she did steal it, so he should take it back. Let's say it seems quite sensible. Indeed. Just as sensible as getting off a sinking ship and leaving a fellow to his business. Okay. I would say good day, but it seems quite likely that you're about to die a rather terrible death, so... The skeleton shrugs casually and returns to his book. Is he not bothered? I guess he can't... Like, can he die? Hang on, let me examine. Status effect, sauce, muted, poison. He's undead. So maybe he just can't die. So he doesn't have to worry. Please, my time is short. Although yours, I gather, is infinitely shorter. Oh, okay. Maybe he can die. Well, that's that then. Uh, all right. Fane, I'll leave you to your book. <laughs> He really doesn't seem bothered. Great gods! Something's pounding on the hull! Oh, okay. The marking on the door was painted recently, judging from its pungent scent. You recognize the symbol immediately for what it is. 
a warning of death fog within. Oh. You press your palm against the door to open it. The wood feels neither cold nor warm, but simply gray. The color drains from your hand, and you are left numb. Oh, that's not good. But there's loot in there. Can I quick save? Oh, I can. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be cheeky. Uh, let's pull open the door. It doesn't budge. Uh, use your key. The door groans open, but an ashen shadow clouds your mind. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Death fog. Instant death for the living. So if I'm not living, if I played undead, would I be able to go in that? Um, okay, let's see. We made it to the middle deck, keep moving. The merry weather. Uh, okay, let's see. Confessing to murder, the sorcerer Windigo implied that we had something in common with a victim to trigger as we exit. Yeah. The merry weather was carrying death fog, a poisonous gas used by the divine order in the last war. It is best avoided. Okay. Well, we can still loot these. I think if we don't uh Okay, he is I think I think we will actually get we'll die death if fog. we Ooh, I need to get out of don't there. Do that. No! Oh no, we can't actually grab anything. Ooh, a cracked sword, we can grab that. What does that do? Uh, 150% critical damage. One-handed sword. Four to five physical. So if I do this, and then I do this. Aha! Okay, but what type is it? This is strength. This is finesse. We don't have that much finesse, but I think in totality we'll do more damage. Yes. Okay. So let's go with that. And... Oh, what did we pick up? Water, I think. Uh, where are we? I think we just picked up a jug of water or something. Sort by last picked up. Yeah, nope, that is... Oh, did that go in our rucksack? Let's auto sort this and see. Did that go in our rucksack or something? No. Okay, or maybe we... Did we pick up a healing potion? No, we didn't. Anyway. Um, let's go loot the rest of these peeps here. We can't go in that room, sadly. Uh, nope. Ooh, there's a box of nothing, sadly. Okay, the stairs are here. I don't want to go up just yet. So we have one more to loot. Nothing though, sadly. Empty potion bottle. Anything else here? I think that's it. I think we loot everything. This goes back downstairs. Uh, yeah, let's let's head up, I suppose. Because yeah, we can't. Oh, how do I get in there? I don't know how to get in there, but it goes downstairs, so maybe it's not important. Game saved. Oh boy. Oh. Oh my days, okay. Bye bye, Magister. I don't want that to happen to me. Attracted by the source unleashed in the explosion, a gigantic void worker can attack the ship. Oh, okay, and we have vicious voidlings. Okay. Um, 4 AP just to get there. 3 AP to get there. But I have to walk past this poison. Um, what if I do mosquito swarm? Will that be good? I'm gonna loot Magister. Ooh, a fireball scroll. Maybe we'll do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's see. Can we do this? Oh, we can. Oh, and the poison's gonna blow up, isn't it? Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, no. They're coming. Oh, okay. That one took a lot of damage. Uh, okay, now we can go behind. I don't think they have like opportunity attacks, which is great. Okay, we backstab him. Oh, very nice. Okay, can we go again? No, we don't have enough AP. Uh, okay, we're fine. We health, our health is good and everything too. Oh, oh, let's try this again. I don't know how this works, but we'll, we'll try it again. Um, let's see here. Vile burst to all characters around it. Okay, no, no. So can we attack with the blob? Okay, nice. Okay, we can just attack. Yeah, that's good. 
Maybe if we get away, we can get it to blow up. Oh, don't do that. Oh, my days. No, 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 no. Okay, let's stand here. We'll do a Bloodsucker to heal. Oh, that's not a lot of heal. I'm going to move away. And... Uh, okay, they're, they're attacking the blob. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try this. Let's try this. Um, do we target them? Okay, we're going to target the one with higher HP here. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Um, now we can... That's 3 AP. And how do we attack? I think attack is 1 AP. Maybe we can... I don't have my Bloodsucker. Okay, let's just attack and see what happens. Ooh, nice. Okay, we did it. Very nice. They are empty. Oh, no, they're not. We picked up this thing. Raw, lumpy giblets. This could have been anything that was once inside something or someone. Okay. Maybe that's uh, an ingredient. Uh, okay, Magister Knight, thank you for your service, I suppose. There is nothing to loot except a, a bucket. We'll go here. Oh, this is a water bucket. Oh my days! Can't move encumbered. Okay, you, you literally can't move in this if you get encumbered. That's interesting. Um, okay, some people just died. Oh no, okay. Um, what if we... Oh, the fire's gone. Okay, so I don't need this. Let's drop this. Do I need this? Maybe... Maybe I just move it up here. No, that's not actually not what I want to do. Hang on. Can I move this like that? Aha! Very good. Um, okay, I think I can actually go pick up. Let's loot. There's an improvised wand. Uh, Captain Calwin. Okay. Blinding Radiant Scroll. Your enemies around you receive 5 to 6 air damage. Okay, not bad. We'll take it. And we'll take the wand. 2 to 3 fire damage. Okay. Uh, okay, there's nothing else we can loot here. Let's loot this crate. There we go. Oh, okay. The kids, or two of them, and uh, Gil. They got away. But what about the companions, though? Ooh, there's a crate there. Crates. Oh, my days. Oh, okay, that lifeboat is gone. Oh, my days. Okay, never mind. Thanks. Uh, okay, let's talk to Gil. We can't talk to them. Can we Go talk on, to them? The Let's just see if we can Shut climb on board. Children and dwarfs first, just like the old stories say. Oh, <laughs> there's Gil. The dwarf yanks at one of the nearby ropes to no avail. You said there were other people down there. We, we need to help them. I tried to help them. You see those tentacles, kid? It's time for getting the hell out of here. Okay. Um... Call the dwarf a yellow-bellied coward. You'll return to the lower deck and check for survivors. The ship trembles beneath your feet, but the kid's right. You'll say you'll go back to the lower deck and look for survivors. Tell the kid Gil is right. You came, you just came from the lower deck and you're not going back down now. Reach for the release mechanism. Forget the others. You just want off this bloody ship. But we... I mean, they're not dead. Um... I mean, we'll go check. We'll go check, I suppose. The ship trembles beneath your feet, but the kids right say you'll go back to the lower deck and look for survivors. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Okay. There's a ladder right over there. You can go straight down. Okay. You're gonna be the death of us, you hear? I mean, you can leave if you want. Well, maybe not. We want the boat, don't we? Uh, yeah, just give me a moment. I mean, I, I don't think we can... Um, okay, it takes us right down here. Um... Oh, they're up! They're up! They're up! They're up! Oh no! Okay, we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting. Um... Oh my days. Okay, what is this line? I don't know what this line means, but okay. Um... I guess we'll hit them. So it's 2 AP to get behind. 3 AP. We'll go for this one here. 
and we can backstab. Okay, nice. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Nice job, beast. Yeah, run, run, run. Whoa! Oh, don't do that, please. Oh, don't hurt anyone, please. I thought Void Broken was supposed to be scary. Oh, did, hmm. did she hurt me? Let the games no. begin. Oh, 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 oh. They who are about to triumph. Oh, oh, oh. I've faced worse. Oh my days, he's like an earthbender. <laughs> Oh my days, Beast kicks ass. Holy shit. Oh my days, I'm gonna die. Uh, let's do a Bloodsucker here. Very nice. Okay, and then we will uh, we'll move here and backstab. Very cool. Okay. Oh my days, everybody kicks ass. That's so cool. might be more. We need to move. Smell even worse dead than alive. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's not tarry. This old tub is about to burst. Okay. Oh, she's still alive. Okay, do we want to save her? I hear something. It's it's Magister Siwan, the one who put on this damn collar. Do we want Sounds to save like her? She needs help. But she's a magister, hey? Uh, she tries to speak, but can only gape as she clutches her neck, trying to stem the bleeding of a gushing wound. Maybe if we help her, then we get rewarded later? Um, look around for some way to help her. With jagged movements, she raises her clenched fist and holds out a length of cloth, soaked with some kind of strong-smelling tincture. Okay, take the cloth and hold it tight to the wound and try to stem the bleeding, yeah. Blood quickly soaks through the cloth. Magister C1's one's mouth opens and closes, her eyes wide in terror. Oh, uh, we can hold the cloth, cloth tighter to the wound, um, unravel the blood red cloth and wrap it snugly around her neck like a tourniquet, or slit her, th uh, her throat better to end it quickly or leave her. Um, let's try unraveling the cloth. Blood pours out from around the bandage. Magister Siwan reaches out to you, her hand flailing. Oh no. Uh, okay, let's hold the cloth tighter to the wound then. It's working. The pressure is stemming the flow of blood. Siwan clutches your arm, her eyes locked with yours. Okay. Something within the ship snaps. The floorboards shudder. Uh, let's continue holding the cloth to the wound and take Siwan's hand and try to help her stand. Siwan struggles to her feet, clinging to you tightly. The ship lets out a deep groan, then cracks. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no, I didn't see if there was a timer. Do we have to do that? I didn't save. Do I have to do that again? Oh, okay, maybe not. Honorable Dallas, we lost a ship sailing sorcerer prisoners to Fort Joy. We assume some escaped and broke their collars. Their vile magic lured the Voidwoken. All who were aboard are presumed dead. Yours faithfully into eternity. High Judge Orivan. Okay, maybe that's a good thing that we're presumed dead. Then no one will look for us, right? And I wonder if our colors are broken. The chronicle continues, the Merryweather. Oh, look, this is a familiar sight. A beach. Those void woke and made sure bloody work of the ship. Okay, waypoint discovered. Are we the lone survivor? Are we the lone survivor? It seems someone, something wanted me alive oh okay okay 
So we've made it out of a ship once more <laughs> and onto a beach once more. Uh, okay, okay. And we have a waypoint here. You discovered a waypoint. Fleeing combat allows you to escape to any discovered waypoint. You can also quickly travel between waypoints. Okay, understood. Well, let's go find all the waypoints. Okay, so we're on a beach. You half expect Shadow Heart to be here. Um, <laughs> but no, it's fine. We'll, uh, we'll look around. I'm sure there are other survivors. What is this shell? What does it do? Oh, it just sells. Lizard mystics have been known to use these shells as musical instruments in their death rituals, invoking the haunting howl of far sea storms. Okay. Ah, we've got so many things. I need another backpack, I think. Like another backpack or something. I didn't find any backpacks. What is this? I thought the order would get rid of any trace of the old Source King. The old Source King, ancient statue of Bracchus Rex. Oh, it's that. Uh, is the uh, the books that we read, eh? This won't be of any use. Okay, broken vase. Ooh, intestines. Set disease for three turns. They slip through your fingers, leaving a slimy, pungent, and oddly warm residue. Wait, why are you touching them? Yeah, why are we touching them? <laughs> oh my days. Bow string. Okay. Maybe it'll be useful. Oh, look, it's a kid. Oh, hello, Tam. You were not... I don't think you were one on the ship. Were they one on the ship? I know Trice. Polly and... Uh, let's see. Polly, there we go, Sandy. Trice, Sandy, and Polly. So not, oh no, it only goes all the way down. It doesn't go, is it? Huh, oh my, okay, it's limited, the uh, dialogue history. Um, Tam, you are new, hello. The child has a small mirror in his hands. He holds it up at angles, inspecting his eyes, his chin, the crown of his head. He spots you, and his arms snap to his sides. Okay. You can barter with almost all characters. Use the trade icon in the dialogue pane to start buttering. Understood. Uh, what do you have? Ooh, a lockpick. Bloody hell, 110. They're very expensive. Trap this arming kit. 107 just for one. A needle. Watch where you point that thing. And four shells. Very expensive stuff, Tam. Um, okay, let's just speak to him then. I'm not supposed to talk to elves. Oh my. Uh, tell the kid to keep to himself then. Ask him why not. What has he heard about your kind? I'll take your leave. Let's ask him what he's heard about elves. Um, well, elves eat people and their pets. Elves don't know the alphabet. <laughs> uh, chuckle. Tell him he's heard mostly wrong. You'd never eat a pet and you'd only eat a person if they asked you to. Okay. Uh, we can smile. You know your kind are considered cannibals, but you didn't know illiterate had joined the list. Chan and Elvis children's song about a foolish human who tried to fight the sea. Um, let's go with number one here, even though the ending is a bit dodgy. Let's try number one. The child's eyes grow wide. People ask you to eat them? Oh, okay. Um, nod. It's how the elves share memories. Tell the child you can't explain an aeon of elfish culture to him now. Uh, let's, talk, let's tell him about the memory thing. Really? Neat. <laughs> Are you a sorcerer? One of those guys that brings the bad void things here. I mean, he's got a collar. Our collars are still on. He's got one. So he's a sorcerer too, is he not? Say you must be or you wouldn't be here. Ask if he thinks you look like a sorcerer. Nod, you are. And by the... Yeah, by the looks of that collar around his neck, so is he. Um... Let's say that. The child looks at you straight on, unafraid, searching your face. He lifts his mirror to his nose, closes one eye, and looks at himself again. Okay. I don't see any source on you or me. I guess they're wrong or crazy. Oh. Okay. Uh, tell him they may well be wrong and crazy. Ask the child why he's out here alone. Tell the child he should run along and isn't safe out here. Um... Let's ask him why he's out here alone. No one cares where I go. They know I can't leave the island. It's nicer out here than inside anyway. Oh, bless. Um, ask him if his parents know where he is. Say it isn't safe out here. Your ship was attacked by Voidwoken not far off the shore. 
So it seems fine now. It's beautiful. Look at the water and everything. Um, ask him if his parents know where he is. They're gone now. The magistrates took them already. Oh, no. I guess now they're cured. And maybe they're waiting for me back at home. Oh, that's not good. I feel like the cure for a sorceress is just not... Uh, not what we think it is, maybe. Or oh, not a cure. Or maybe more like a... Um, a permanent solution. <laughs> uh, say it isn't safe out here. Let's tell him to... Um, maybe not be by the beach alone. But you didn't die. Well, no. Um, ask him why he doesn't seem scared. Say you survived the void woken attack by the skin of your teeth. He should really find somewhere safer to go. Um, ask him why he doesn't seem scared. I guess I am. But it's just normal to be scared. Nowhere isn't scary. Oh, That's really sad. He just lives in fear. Um, say you survived a void woken attack by the skin of your teeth. He should really find somewhere safer to go. There isn't anywhere safer. That's what I mean. Oh, bless. Oh, his voice is really cute. You'll see. Oh, boy. Okay, we'll see, I guess. You can stay out here with me if you want. You don't seem that scary. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, thank you, Tam. If I have more money, I would have bought something off you, but I don't. Hang on, let me change something in the options. Where are we? Gameplay. There was a... Um, there we go. Close-up dialogue. I think I want to try this. See how it goes. Because it seems we can't like move the camera or anything when we're in dialogue. So maybe it's worth doing that. Whisper wood. Elven... Oh, sight range indicator. There are enemies ahead. Press left shift to see the enemy sight range. When you enter the sight range, combat will start. You can try sneaking around by pressing C. Understood. Okay. Uh, Whisper wood. Elven elders claim that those who can understand the secrets whispered by this herb will be protected by the blessing of Tyr Sendelius himself. Oh, it's a herb. Okay, we'll take it. Short stick. A very sturdy short stick. Okay. Um, do we have anything else? Where are these... Aha! Okay. These bugs. Okay, maybe we shouldn't uh, aggro them. So, oh my days, we get to be a bush! <laughs> so, is it like, I suppose it's environment dependent what we can sneak around as? A repair hammer! A dinky hammer that looks perfect for repairing equipment on the move. Just don't try taking it down an orc with it. Okay. You found a repair hammer. You can now press middle mouse button on any broken equipment and select repair. Okay. Are they broken? Is this broken? Repair? Nope. Repair? Nope. That, none of it's broken, I don't think. Okay. Maybe, maybe later. But we have the hammer. Ooh, uh, leather scraps. Do I want the leather scraps? Maybe we'll come back later. Do I want to fight them? How much HP do they have? 36. Pretty beefy. Let me look at this map. That's where we met Tam. That's the statue that's broken off. Okay, maybe we'll go around and see what we can find. Do we want to fight them? Maybe Boy, if we can. Those are the same beasts that sank our ship. Damn, they've made it to shore. Yeah, I'm worried for Tam. Okay, a shell. We'll take the shell. Take the shell. Oh, Salora. Hello? What are you? Oh my days! You're like a... You're undead! You're a squirrel! <laughs> what is this? Hang on! Hello! I don't want to see from from them. Hello, here, sir! Quirkus, oh, another oh. giant! My word, this blasted isle is teeming with them. Oh my days! Hello, Sir Laura! What's that? Yes, I did see how it managed to survive an attack by the great acorn servants. Impressive, just as you say. Great acorn. But that is no reason to trust it. Giants like that destroyed our forests. They are the very reason the great acorn is returning in all its wrath. <laughs> the great acorn. What? Dear me, have you taken leave of all six of your senses? You would have me use this giant for a... Shield? Why would I... Oh, but I see. <laughs> you are a cunning devil, Quirkus. Of course, 
If it escaped the great acorn's vile servants, it can do so again. Okay. We need only follow in its big, wide shadow and be safe. Okay. What is this? <laughs> wait. Okay, wait. Laugh and tell him he's quite welcome to follow in your shadow. Ask the squirrel why he accuses us of destroying his forests. Giant Acorn's shield. Tell him you have no idea what he's talking about. Wave the rodent away. You don't have time to talk. No, 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 no. Um, let's ask him about giant acorns and shields. Egad! It speaks our tongue, Quirkus. Hush before! Oh. What do you mean a good time for introductions? You know full well who I am, you silly old cat. The great Salora, grandest of the... Oh, introduce myself to the giant. I shall do no such thing. You give away your trust too easily, my dear steed. <laughs> I think Quirkus is the, <laughs> the smart one here. No, we will have the giant march. In time, we'll see whether it deserves our confidence. Oh. Now, onwards, shield. Venture forth, post haste. The great acorn waits for no one. The great acorn, okay. Oh, oh. Are you... Are you following us? Our shield speaks, Quirkus. Prick up your phantom ears. Okay. Um, I don't want to shoo the rodent away. Explain that you have some questions. Dear me. It has questions, Quirkus. Hmm? Why, yes, I suppose answering them is the polite thing to do. Uh-huh. Speak, shield. What are your queries? <laughs> okay, ask for more detail about the great acorn. What is it exactly? A giant body, but no giant brain, eh, Quirkus? Excuse you. <laughs> Surely even the tall folk know that Rivalon was bare before the great acorn fell from above and seeded the Irwood, covering this land in beautiful, perfect forests. Okay. Beautiful and perfect until the giant races, no offense, realized they could use it to build their houses and fuel their fires. Okay. They carved the Irwood up and the forests shrank and shrank. None of the original wood remained. Oh, no. But someday, the great acorn will fall again. The forests will be reborn, and the giant races will be wiped from this world. <clears throat> At least that's what I hear. Oh, my days. This guy's great. Um, well, I don't want to be wiped out. Um, explain that you're still a little confused. Where did this acorn come from? Oh, Quirkus, it wants answers. As if it is the first creature to ponder the big questions of the universe. <laughs> oh, my days. What tree did the great acorn fall from? Where did that tree come from, if not a greater acorn? Could you build a nest great enough to store the great acorn for the winter? <laughs> no. Some questions have no answers, Quirkus. Why is that so difficult to understand? Okay. The great acorn will come. It will destroy the world, and squirrels will reign supreme forever. I fail to see what's so difficult to grasp. D fair enough. Ask whether he thinks it's good that the great acorn may return. Obviously, he's going to say yes, right? What do you say, Quirkus? We once believed it was good, but now... Oh, no, he's not. Oh. No. Quite right. As terrible as the giants have been to us, we do not want to see them wiped out. Okay. Brother, we must find a way to live together in peace, giant and squirrel. Yes, I'd like that. Uh, say you quite agree, peace ought to be the end goal in all matters. Ask what changed his mind. Explain that you disagree, it's quite natural for groups to compete. Um, I want to know what changed his mind. Solora stops short, then shakes his head and pats Quirkus affectionately. Okay. Squirrels change, don't they, Quirkus? Priorities change. 
If we do not adapt, we are sure to perish. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's change the subject. And... Oh, no, definitely not. Let's take our leave then. So is he just going to follow us around? Will he fight with us? He's got, he's level 4 with 129 HP. Holy shit. Ooh, crafty weaponry die by the sword. Uh, let's read that. A word of advice to the badly armed. Tie your knife or shiv, if that's all you have, to a stick or branch. Now you've got a sword of sorts. Okay. Take that. Oh, we got a new recipe. Got a, an empty crate. Okay. Um. Oh my days, this guy. This guy's amazing! Look at him! <laughs> Salora and Quercus. Oh my days. This is so cute. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I'm so... I, I don't know if you can actually speak to him without pet pals. But if, if it is the case, then I'm so glad that I got the pet pals uh, talent. Because that was amazing. Uh, okay. Well. I don't know if they will fight with us. Uh, and we have much to uncover still in the fog of war, but I am going to leave that on a little bit of a cliffhanger. No better time to end the session than after having met the most amazing character ever, Sir Laura. Um, so I'm going to save here. Uh, ooh, okay, this is different. This is new. What is that? Tactician mode. Oh, okay, cool. Um, we're going to make a new save here. And I think... That is where we will leave it for today and then we'll continue explorations and all that such in the next session. So yes, that is a... Uh, wow, okay. That's amazing. I'm sorry, I think... I think that was definitely the highlight of the whole um, session. But I will say the game is... Okay, the game is a lot of fun. Uh, the writing's really cool. The, the voices are amazing as always, so, um, or at least as I am not surprised to see. Um, so yeah, I'm actually mu very much looking forward to the, uh, to the next session where we will hopefully find more survivors on the beach and or maybe meet new people like, um, what was his name, Tam uh, around here and we'll see what lays in store for us. I have no idea. I have no idea and I'm so excited. Right, I'll not ramble on any further. I want to give the biggest shout out to our members, the lovely YouTube Boglins, and a thank you to everyone for the support and for keeping me company on our adventures. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to hit that like button and share any comments that you may have. And if you enjoyed our speedless shenanigans, do consider subscribing to the channel and keep your eyes peeled for the next video this series should have uh, i'm planning to have weekly updates but that may change um so keep your eyes peeled on the community tab because that is where i will post all the oh my days sorry i just noticed he's so oh my days i got distracted um let me let me actually go to the uh, menu screen here because i will get distracted by salora um sorry where was i yes the series so I am currently experimenting with the uh, schedule for the channel. So we will have weekly episodes for this game. We are also having weekly episodes for other games. So make sure you go check that out. I will put the links to all these relevant things in the video description below. Um, but yeah, keep your eyes peeled, keep in touch. And if you want to see the continuation of this adventure, then I hope I will see you in the next episode. But for now, thank you so much for your time and for joining me today. Take care, be good, and don't forget to brush your teeth. I'll see you soon. Bye!